Damn it, I'm going to go to for coming on out to HCA. Thank you, Minister Khan, for officiating as well. He's a moray over this congregation, so everybody please give him a round of applause, please. I want to give all honor, glory, and respect to the Most High Yah, the Yahusha, who's the uh, reigning king over the throne of David, and who's the high priest after the order of Melchizedek. All right, I want to give a thanks to everybody that came out, so please give yourselves a round of applause. Before I speak, I want to make sure I get permission from the elders. Elders, is it okay for me to speak? Absolutely. Wait, hold on, hold on. I, let me say this again. Maybe they're not too confident. <laughs> let me say it again. Nobody wants to be, you know, people to look around and say, wait, I'm the elder? Yes, you're the elder. Elders, do I have permission to speak? Absolutely. Hallelujah. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Now, this Sabbath is supposed to be Frank's time to speak. Frank had a lot going on. Frank also gave you a heart to heart. And I was about to just give him the mic and say, you might as well just preach after that. <laughs> but what we do in here in HCA, we work as a team. So if one person has a situation or issue, somebody else steps in and fills in. Okay, Khan? Nobody sitting in the audience is over that or under that. Right. At some point in time, you will be called on oh, to assist in some way, shape, or form. Do you understand? Yes. You're not here to take a seat in the pew and then go home after the Shabbat is over. Tomorrow, we're going to feed the homeless. Now, uh, let me say this again. Y'all don't seem too interested. The door is right there. I'm not kicking nobody out. But if you're not trying to be active in your community, then why are you even here? What good is the word of Yah if you can't put it into practical application? Are y'all are are here? I think we need to preach a couple more sermons up in here and inspire the people. <laughs> Give a round of applause for the uh, praise team. They did a great job. All right, so I'm Devon Prospect of Kingdom Harbinger Ministries, but I'm here on behalf of HCA. So, again, there's always protocol. Yes. 
It's live. I just paused it. Yeah. Um, um, yeah, so I just got thrown off for a second. But I'm good. So can everybody go on your cell phones right now and please share the link for this? You can go to Divine Prospect, click me up on Facebook and share the link, please. So I'm gonna give you a minute or two to do that. Testing, testing. A little bit. Yes, sir. All right, and does somebody please confirm to me that the link is working live? Social media. Somebody said yes, it is? Okay, good, good, excellent. All right, so well, let's get started. Um, yeah, that's good, that's better, yeah. Yeah, man, yeah. It's on YouTube, right? There we go, I heard, I heard it on somebody's phone. All right, so just give me one minute, family, one minute. How's everybody doing? Okay, let me say it again, what's going on today? How's everybody doing? Do you know how, do you know, does everybody in here understand how fortunate you are? There are people in Puerto Rico right now that have no place to go to worship, no place to go home to, no food, no water, no shelter. Come on, man. Are y'all understanding how, how the Most High has preserved you in this time? For you to be grateful that you're woken up and that you have the things that people now don't have? We could have been hit by an earthquake. We could have hit by a wildfire. We could have been hit by a hurricane. Yes. That doesn't mean because it happened to those people that they're any less the people of God. What I'm saying is we have an even more reason to be grateful and reach out and help those brothers and sisters. Yes. So you have a reason to praise God. You have a reason to say to your brothers and sisters, I love you. I'm here because you need me. I got you. Okay? Huh? I think some people had a long night. But we're going to get into the message today. Hopefully, just to wake you up a little bit. All right, we good? Everybody good? So are you good? Yeah. Okay. Um, I still didn't get my napkin. Can somebody give me a napkin, please? Just real quick. Tissue? Oh, okay. I use tissue. Right. I don't want this in the mic. All right, let's get started. All right, so can somebody read to me what the title of this uh, lecture is? Say it one more time. So remember I tell you, that the whole lecture is in the actual title. Can somebody tell me what they think this message is going to be on today? Anybody? Somebody? Everybody? <laughs> somebody said Exodus. Somebody said Abraham. Who else? What else? Deliverance. Anything else? <sighs> okay. All right. All right. All right. All right. So I put a request out. And I asked a lot of people what they think that I should speak on them today. And interestingly enough, everybody gave me these deep topics. And I'm like, man, I can't teach all these deep topics for a Shabbat service. A lecture, yes, not a Shabbat service. So I was speaking with somebody, counsel people, which I typically do. And in the process of counseling somebody, a message came to me. And I said, oh, that's good. I'm going to use that. I'm going to expound on it, and I'm going to give the message. So. What I realized is that sometimes if you're down and out, if you're having issues, you're having problems, and it feels like the whole world's coming upon you, the one thing that I've learned in counseling people that will help your situation is to help somebody else less fortunate than you. Because it will take your mind off your issues, and while you're encouraging, equipping, empowering them, then you'll realize that the same message needs to apply to self. Come on, man. That's just a little nugget for y'all. Come on. Okay. Thank y'all still sleeping. But we're going to wake y'all up on tonight. On today. So through the valleys and onto the mountains. Let's, let's, let's start off. Frank, you ready? Ready. All right, here we go. Now, let's go into definitions. Because you know, I always have to define certain terms so that we're all on the same page. Right. That's good. Yeah. Um, so you know I always get definitions. So that way, we are all on the same page and we understand what is being said. OK? Con? All right. So let's define some terms first and let's move into the actual lecture itself. Hopefully this inspires you people on tonight. My family, loved ones, friends, associates. Let's get it in, Frank. Definition. First definition. What's the word, Frank? Say it loud. Valley. What is a valley? Read them, Frank. Number one, a low area of land uh -huh. between hills or mountains, typically with a river or stream flowing through it. Yes. Number two, an extensive, more or less flat, and relatively low region drained by a great river system. 
Number three, a low point or interval in any process, representation or situation. Wait, say that again, Frank. A low point or interval in any process, representation or situation. Read number four. Any place, period, or situation that is filled with fear, gloom, foreboding, or the like. All right. So now that we understand the English definitions, let's see how it relates to the biblical Hebraic definitions. All right. First word that we got is guy e, right? A guy. And I want you to read that for me, Frank. What does that mean? Guy e, a valley. Mm -hmm. It is a noun. The definition uh, valley, a steep valley, narrow gorge. Can I read this one? Strong's definition a gorge from its lofty sides, hence narrow, but not a gully or winter torrent. A valley. Right. Root, read that. Guy, mm -hmm. to rise up. Grow up, be exalted in triumph, call, uh -huh. to rise up, to grow up. All right, so now we see that the basic root or the primitive root is ga'a, but then and later on as we continue to modify, modify the actual ver the verb itself, we get this noun. So when we look at the actual root, it's to rise up, to grow up, to be exalted in triumph. So how does that relate to a steep valley, a narrow gorge, or a valley in itself? Can anybody answer that for me? Nobody? Sure. So the root is ga'a, and it's to rise up, to grow up, to be exalted. In the cow stem, it's to rise up, to grow up. But the definition, when it's modified into a noun, is a gorge, a valley, a steep valley, a narrow gorge. But look at the keys. From its lofty sides, hence narrow, but not a gully or winter tour in a valley. Has anybody seen a valley before? Yes. What's on the sides of the valley? Mountains. There you go. So the things that are lofty or risen up a side of it causes the uh, recess in the middle to be deep. Gang con? Yeah. Okay. All right. Let's go. Let's go, Frank. Next one. H6010 is Emek. Can you read that for me, Frank? Emek. Short definition. Valley. Long definition. A veil. Strong's definition. A veil. Example. Broad depression. Dale. Veil. Valley. Often used as a part of proper names. Okay. The root definition: to be deep, be profound, make deep. Call to be deep, the hippo to make deep, make profound. Of course, to be so. Now we have another word, emek, and it also relates to the word valley. This one has to do with a broad depression, and this is most most you see mostly this in proper names, right? When we go to the roots of it, it's amak, and that means to be deep, to be profound, to make deep. The cow verb stem means what? What is the cow verb stem to people learning Hebrew in here? I always gotta go over this to make sure y'all y'all follow. What is the cow verb stem family? Simple active voice, right? Simple action. What is the heat spell stem? The causative what? Active or passive? Passive. There we go. Let's move forward. All right. Bikat. Read that, Frank. Bikat. Short definition. Valley. Long definition. A valley. Plain. Strong's definitions. A split. Example. A wide level valley between mountains. Plain. Valley. The root definition. To split. It's a bakat. Bakat. Uh -huh. To split. Cleave. Break open. Divide. Break through. Rip up. Break up. Tear. The call stem. To cleave. Cleave open. The nipal stem to be cleft, be rent open, be split open. The mm -hmm. pial stem to break through, break down. The pual to be ripped open, be torn open. Hippal to cause to be broken. The hip hipphiel to burst themselves open, cleave asunder. All right, are y'all following? Are y'all following? Does any <laughs> does anybody know anything about topography? And the upper lithosphere of the earth in regards to how valleys are formed. What do you typically find in the river? Say it again. Who said that? Say it again. A what? A river. So something has burst through between the highest steeps of elevation of land and it has formed that valley. That is a river. Hence why you have a word like Bekaa, 
with the root by ka, which means to split, cleave, to break open, to divide. Are, are y'all following? Okay, hopefully y'all waking up. So we went through the cow stem. What's the knee foul stem? Knee foul stem, family. To cause. No, no. Knee foul stem. Knee foul. Knee foul stem is a simple passive voice, simple passive action, right? PL stem. Look at the word to break through. PL is what? The, the what? Active what? Intensive. So you're intensifying the cow stem. You're making it stronger, right? The pu'al stem means what? Intensive passive, pu'al stem. And the hip pu'al stem is what? Reflective. It can either be simple action or it can be intensive depending on context. But this is the reflective. So these are your main, as you can see, all, all one, two, three, four, five, six. Missing one, six, but. These are what you're typically going to encounter when you are going through your scriptures and you're going into the original language. But I want you to keep this in mind. Anytime you come across a word and you go look it up, don't think you can just pick from one of these definitions. Right. Let me say it again. You gotta understand what, and the most important thing you can learn in Hebrew is verb stems. How to parse verbs, it's very important. But I'm gonna say it again. Don't think you're gonna read something in the passage and then just jump in here and say, uh, I wanna choose this one. Doesn't work that way. Right? You gotta look at the context and look how the verb is rendered. Kind, came. All right, let's move forward. All right? Blow that away. All right, mountain. Go ahead, Frank. Mountain, number one, a natural elevation of the earth's surface rising more or less abruptly to a summit and attaining an altitude greater than that of a hill. Okay. Usually greater than 2,000 feet, 610 meters, and extensive, more or less flat and relatively low region drained by a great river system. A low region what? Drained, drained by what? A great river system. So now we see the river is also responsible for forming what? Mountains. Okay, go ahead, Frank. Number two, an elongated ridge. Number three, a large mass of something resembling this, as in shape or size. Uh -huh. Number four, a huge amount, a vast number or quantity. All right, so we're going to the biblical definition. It's H2022. It is hard. Read it, Frank. Short definition, mountains. Long definition, mountain, hill, hill country. Strong's definition, a shortened form of harar, a mountain or range of hills, sometimes used figuratively. Uh -huh. A hill can also be a country. A mount, mountain. Mountain, all right. I know definitions is not exciting, family. I understand that. We don't pass it, but it's important because if we're not all thinking on the same terms, then the wrong things will come in our minds and everybody's not going to be on one accord. If you want to know how to best communicate with somebody, make sure you guys are all using the same yes, definition. Yes, come on now. Yes, yes sir. time. Yes, sir. Because in the legal world, that's how it works. Yes, sir. When you don't know the definition, then anybody can be saying things back and forth and jargon and you want to know what's going on. Ask questions. Well, hold on. What does that term mean? Can exactly. you explain that to me? Because I don't understand. And then once they give it to you and you understand, now you can voluntarily comply. Yes. Okay. See, people sleep, Frank. It's okay. okay. You don't hold them up. They sleep. At least I got Frank right here in the front with me. Let's go. It's going to be me and you, Frank. <laughs> let's do it. Let's do it. All right. Scripture Valley. The first scripture. Val, let's go into this. Some of y'all may be familiar with this, but I want Frank to read it dramatically. And we're going to break some things down. <laughs> you know how Frank did. Get it in, Frank. To him, Psalms 23, chapter 23, verse Slow 10. down right there, Frank. See, I didn't even get started yet. What does Tehillim mean or Tehillim mean, family? Psalms. Okay, so I want to make sure you're following because the books of the scriptures that I'm using is all in Hebrew. Okay. So are y'all all right with that? All right, let's go, Frank. Yah is my shepherd. No, no, no. Yah is his shepherd. My shepherd. My pastor's shepherd. My Shepherd. Just my mother and grandma that pray for me, Frank. Mom, shepherd. go in, Frank. I shall not want. He makes me lie down. No, he asks me to lie down. He makes me lie down. He holds my hand when he does it. He makes me lie down go in, Frank. in green pastures. Wait, wait. So he's making me lie down in dirt. Green pastures. On the side of the road. Green Pasture. My house got blown down by a hurricane, Frank. What is you talking about? Green 
pastures. Go in. He leads me beside quiet waters. Is it the what? Quiet waters? Quiet waters. Okay. He restores my soul. Mm -hmm. He guides me in the paths of righteousness for his name's sake. Right. It's to make me great. For his name's sake. To turn me into a crap little dollar. For his name's sake. All right, just saying, just saying. Keep going. Even though I walk. No, no, I'm running through the valley. Even though I walk. I'm timidly taking my time, Frank. I walk. Keep going. Through the valley. No, I'm stuck in the valley. I walk through the valley. I don't see nothing in the valley, Frank. I walk through the veil. I'm going through, Frank. That's what you tell me. Oh, yeah. So it's not all the time, Frank. Through the veil. It's not sometimes when people die, Frank. I walk it's not when I don't see no hope, Frank. I walk through the veil. I got to keep it moving, Frank. I walk through the veil. Y'all missing it. Go ahead, Frank. Out the shadow of death. How's he going? I fear no evil. You what? I fear no evil. But why is that, Frank? For you are with me. No, Frank. My house is there. You are with me. My is there. You are with me. And your rod and your staff, they comfort me. I think oh y'all missed it. Y'all missed it. Let's, let's, let's break a few things down. Let's break a few things down. So what's the key word we're looking for here, family? Valley. Valley. You remember the definition? Let me see if y'all paying attention. What are the definitions for the word valley that I gave you? A what? A sunken place. <laughs> you think it's just it's a sunken place. But now you're giving instructions on what to do when you're in the sunken place. And what is that? Is that to stay stuck? No. To stay stationary? No. To turn back? No. It's to do what? Go through the same strength that the river used in order to form that valley. You must have greater strength, family. I think y'all missing this. Somebody get that midnight, Frank. It'll come. They're going to hear water while they sleep, and they going to wake up. They said, that's the river I got to be. Okay. I don't think. Have y'all ever seen a valley and seen mountains before? Do you know how much strength it takes to gorge out and move mountains? Uh, I don't know who I'm preaching to today. Somebody going to get this message. But let's move forward. Let's break some things down. Move into the Hebrew a little bit. Maybe, maybe you'll get it when we go into the language, right? So I'm going to go through this. I have the guides here for y'all who may not know Hebrew. I mean, it might be a little small, but I'll go through it with y'all real quick. But we're going to point out what we see here and go. Kane, Khan? All right. First word here is key. Key means what? Let me see if somebody can help me break this down. What does key mean? For because. Elect. What does elect mean? Elect. You got the Aleph prefix. Elect means what? I walk. I walk because I left means what when it's prefix? First person what? First person singular. All right? Then the next one we got is big day. We just went over that. Big day. The bait here is what's called an inseparable preposition. And it's attached to the get. We went over this word here. What does get mean? A valley. Bay means what? It's a preposition meaning what? And with, not and, but with. Through, at, among. So in this case, you heard me what we walked what? For I walk what? Through. Zal medit. Zal medit. Does anybody know what zal medit mean? Okay. Zal medit. So it says, for I walk through what? The valley of what? Shadow of death. This is this word here it's sitting in syntax from two root words. Zal meaning a shadow, and you got the root word mut there, which means death. But we say nebet, the way it's rendered. Are you following? It's not, it's not, it's not going to be a lot, but we're going to get through it. Low. In Hebrew, what does low mean? No, don't, or it's a negation. Right? It negates something. Okay? Huh? Ira. What does ira mean? What? You said what? I see? He said, I see. Anybody else want to take a shot at that? The root word is yare. Oh, like to be in adoration or in fear, trembling fear, or in reverence. Are you following me? Are you following me? Yes. Okay. Look at look. This is this is 
Y'all gonna get it. We, we walk in there. Ra is the next one. What does Ra mean? Evil, calamity, misfortune, something bad, terrible, right? Trouble. Key, and it's interesting because the most high said, I create what? Evil. Evil. They missed that, Frank. Mm. Hold on. See, sometimes, wait, I'm gonna preach. Let's, let's go. Let's go. Home. Yeah, go, go sleep. Go on. Sometimes you're looking at trouble. Sometimes you're looking at bad things going on. And you always want to blame the devil. Who want to blame the devil all the time when things going on, right? But most of the time, they get whooped. But they want to blame it on the devil. Exactly. The most high is the man. He is the one that's creating the ra. The troublesome, the calamity to bring about a great good. We're so focused on what's going on horizontally, Mr. Vertical, Frank. That's right. That's right. That's right. Look up to the hills, Frank. Come on. Say, look up to the plains. Go. Or the valleys. Go. Y'all missing it. But, but they don't get it, Frank. They don't get it, Frank. Let's keep it moving. They don't get it, Frank. The next one here. We got Atta. What does Atta mean? You. Your. And the last one is E Madi. What does E Madi mean? I stand. No, that's, that brother know what he's talking about. I'm not going to point him out, but that brother know what he's talking about. That's the help back there. <laughs> Thank you for that. So now we just we just rendered this for ourselves, but I want to show you something. I want to show you something. Y'all missed it. First thing is I said the Ra. The Most High says he creates Ra. He creates calamity. So a lot of times we see what's going on, on earth. You want to blame all types of things and all types of people. We want to blame heart for things. We want to blame technology for doing things. And we're not saying whether or not that's actually happening. All we're saying is ultimately the world has to yield to the will of God. You're not listening. So if the Most High intends to prevent something from happening, He has the final say, not man. Are y'all following? Okay, okay. Let's go. These are birth and pains, family. Something's about to come. Hope y'all preparing. And it didn't happen at 12 a.m. this morning. Let's keep moving, family. Some of y'all get that. Go back on Facebook. Y'all get what I'm talking about. Because I woke up. I said, wow, right, this was the app, but I'm still here. Come on, man. Come on. Come on. Anybody seen that movie Left Behind? Yeah. I was like, man. So I said to myself, wait, y'all. What if I'm on an airplane, y'all? And you ain't call me, but the pilot, you call him home. <laughs> we all got to stop because the pilot got to go. <laughs> oh, man, I got I to gotta smooth y'all up a little bit. All right. So, break it down. I'm going to go through it real quick. So, key is a conjunction, meaning indeed, rather, except for, because, in case, also, if. Halak is the root word for elect. And halak means to go, to walk, to bring, to take, to lead, travel, go about. Bege. Be is the um, conjunction that's prefixed, meaning in, at, among, with, away, from, into, because, against, or through. Then we have ge, or gai, which is a valley. We went over that. Then we got the word zal, mabit. The root words, two root words, zal. And mut or mut, which means death. So zal is a shadow, something overpowering you, something that's blocking the light from touching you. Let me say it again. Zal is anything that's blocking the light from touching you. Okay. How many of y'all ever lit a match and look for the shadow? See, that's deep. They don't get that. <laughs> but they, they'll get it one day. You know what I'm saying? What? But a match. What do I mean by that, family? A match does not cast a shadow. Oh, they, Frank, they, they're not getting that, Frank. So sometimes when you're in that battle of darkness, you have to have a little light and let it shine, family. And that little light will get you through. See, Frank, they're not getting that, Frank. They think all the time it got to be the heavens open up. They're not fucking. Frank, they, they sleep, Frank. So I got to talk to Frank now. They sleep, Frank. He's getting it. <laughs> so, my bitch. Is a common noun, singular absolute. Absolute means it's not modified, right? right. Black gloom, rings around the eyes. What, what causes rings around the eyes? Sleep, sleep deprivation. Sleep deprivation. What else? A black eye. <laughs> a black eye. <laughs> Anxiety. Anxiety. Anxiety, yeah, or any kind of health issue, right? Right, right? Okay. Darkness, a depth like shadow. Why? Because you see light somewhere, 
but the darkness is encompassing you, surrounding you, and you don't know how you're going to get to that light. Okay. Dark. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Follow me, family. Low is a negation. We went over that. Ira is a root word, yare, which means it's a cow. Imperfect means what? Imperfect means what? Is it past tense, present, or future tense? Imperfect is what? Future tense. Or it's a present tense, something that's ongoing with no real reference to when it began. It's a present action or it could be a future tense, right? First person singular. Now, this changes when you have a what? Consecutive Y. Kane, Khan? Okay. It means to be afraid, be in fear, to revere, respect, be awesome or frightened. Now, now, now here's, here's what we're going to get in right here. Somebody, somebody tell me the psalm again. How's the psalm go? Verse 4. Somebody, somebody tell me the psalm. Though or for I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, what I will what? No, 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 no. Fear. Let's take out the word fear. Watch this. Watch, watch this. That same word is used for God. Okay. Let me go back. Frank, they're not getting it. Let's go on again. That same word is used by writers to refer to Yah. What am I telling you, family? What's that next word? The next word is what? Ra, which means what? Calamity, evil. So what it's saying here, I will not revere or be in awe of the evil that is surrounding me. Frank, they're not getting that, Frank. See, so many, sometimes people are worshiping their problems and not the great. Frank, they're not getting it, Frank. They still sleep. I'm going to wake y'all up. Man, that was enough, Frank. Okay, let's say it again. Let's say it again. I'll say it again. I'll say it again. The same word, root word, yare, where we get ira from. Right. Cal and perfect, first person singular means to be afraid to be in fear, but these are loose translations. It should more be to revere, to respect, or be in awe of. That means sometimes you are too in awe of your fears, your problems, and the things around you, family. You think this valley is eternal. You think it's greater than a creator who placed you on the earth, or who's the one that's forming these calamities so he can perfect you in the process, come to you in the process, surface you in the process. You are revering and respecting your fears and the evil around you more than the creator, family. We have to get back and shift our perspectives again. Hopefully they get it by the end of time. I think it's going on some people's head, but they gonna, we, we gonna, we're going to work with them. Rise an objective, single absolute, badly made, a small word, fierce trouble, or we say evil, a reprobate wickedness. Key means for, indeed, a top, you, you are, and a root word for the last imad is a single contract meaning with, to, against. Let me go back. Somebody read for me the psalm again. Somebody read the psalm again. You got to understand this, family. See, we, sometimes we just read it plainly and keep it moving. We don't break things down, family. We got to be surgical on this. It's serious. Serious, because if you can't apply this and get results, then why are you reading it? I don't understand. Okay, Frank, let's, let's go through this again. Iman, the root word is a common noun. It's a single contract meaning what, Frank? Word, to, against, and surround. So the thing is, for you are what? With me. With me. But it can also be rendered against me or surrounding me. Watch this. Frank, they're not getting it, Frank. Watch this. Frank, they didn't get it. Let me say it again. Frank, read this again. Read this again, Frank. What's that? With, uh huh, to, okay, again, uh huh, and, uh huh, surround. All right, so, so many times you focus on for you are with me, mm -hmm. but he can be against you. How can he be against you? Because he's the light at the end of the tunnel. See, Frank, they don't get it, Frank. Let me say it again, Frank. Frank, they're not getting it, Frank. As you're going through your problems, Frank, a lot of times, Frank, we are not paying attention to the word that Yah has given us to get through, Frank. So sometimes he got to be on the other side and say, if you can make it through this, well, all the trials and tribulations you've been doing in the past, all the things I've equipped you with, all the people I've put you around, the roof that I've given you, I'm going to be right in front of you. I'm going to lead you. I'm going to be the light at the end of the tunnel. I'm going to be your reward. And, Frank, I'm, this, and I'm sparring with you to make you strong. Well, say it again, Frank. I'm sparring with you sparring to make you, you strong. You he's against you, but it's to make you better. Frank, they're not getting it, Frank. Before me, whether fault, we had to spar again. Yeah. Frank, they're not Come getting on. it, Frank. Frank, they're not getting it. I'm going to walk you up through. It's okay. That's it for somebody on. I know somebody on line is getting it right now. You'll get it, Frank. You'll get it. This is really profound. One day, hopefully, uh, what's that noise? Can you get that? Hopefully one day, when y'all go over this again, you'll go back and watch the tape. You're going to be like, man, that was deep. <laughs> Let's move forward, Frank. People are asleep tonight, Frank. It's all good. Expositional point, 
Read that, Frank. To get to know y'all's cousin. Wait, so why is there a valley? To get to know y'all's cousin. Why is there a valley? To get to know y'all's cousin. And what else? Accept his correction. Accept his what? Correction. And what else? And redemption. Oh, Frank. Where's that at in the verse, Frank? Hold on. Let's go back, Frank. Let's go back. Read verse 4 again, Frank. Even though uh -huh. I walk through the valley okay. of the shadow of death, okay. I fear no evil, okay. for you are with me. Okay. Thanks. You got it. You got it, though. Uh huh. Keep going. Your rod, your what? Your rod, your what? Your rod and what? Action, uh huh. And your stand, your what? Your stand, does what? They comfort you. So sometimes we don't see comfort in correction. <laughs> sometimes you in that valley because you did something wrong and you got to get worked. So that rod is there to comfort you. Oh, Frank, they're not getting that, right? And the staff, what is the crooked staff that the shepherd uses? Why does he use that staff? What is to do what? To round up the sheep, but if a sheep get lost, he can stretch out that staff, he can hook around the legs, and he can pull that sheep in. Y'all not getting this. Y'all not getting this, Frank. I don't think they I don't think they know how mighty the power is that they serve, but they live right now, Frank. They're gonna give it one day. We're gonna we're gonna wake you up. Let's, let's keep let's keep it moving, Frank. At least Frank is with you. Who else is with me? Raise your hand. Who else is with you? All right, fam. Thank you. Thank you. I know your body is processing it. I got you. you. Never read it before like that, so I'm going to give you all a pass. Let's just keep it moving. Let's read the next one, Frank. Bear sheet. Now, what's that at the top, Frank? Is that a valley or a mountain? Oh, that is top. a mountain. I'm sorry. So that's a mountain. Okay. So if you see, pay attention to what I put at the top, and you'll know I'll have valley, but I have an image there, right? Imagery in your mind so you can understand what we're reading. So let's read the next one, Frank. Bear sheet. Chapter 22, verse 1. Just that part on chapter 22, verse 1. I was going to let them ask. Okay, okay. got it, Frank. It's okay. Got it. Now it, came, now it came about after these things uh -huh. that the Most High tested Abraham. No, 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 no. The devil tested him. The Most High tested. He tested himself, Frank. The Most High tested Frank Abraham. Abraham was the person who was arguing at his job. The Most High tested Abraham. Okay, keep going. And said to him. What he said? Abraham. And he said, here I am. He said, take now your son, your only son. Wait, I thought he had Ishmael. Okay, keep, keep it going, Frank. <laughs> wait, wait, Frank, keep it going, Frank. Stop, stop, wait, wait, keep it going, Frank. <laughs> Go ahead. Whom you love, Isaac, mm -hmm. and go to the land of Moriah, mm -hmm. and Offer him there as a burnt offering on one of the mountains. On one of the what? Mountains. One of the what? Mountains. Of which what? Of which I will tell you. Now, what is it, one of the definitions for mountains that we read, aside from what it physically means? It could be a country. It's a great mass of something, a huge amount. Because look what's being asked of Abraham to do. They missed, they missed the words, Frank. Let me say it again. These words are indicative to explain to you how great the task was. That's why he had to go up a mountain. Okay. He could have been in the valley and slayed him. He wanted to give him time to go up that mountain. Think. Mm. Frank, they're not getting it, Frank. Let's keep going, Frank. Go ahead, Frank. We verse 9, Frank. Let's discuss this. Come. Keep going, Frank. Verse 9. And then they came to the place of which the Most High had told him, and Abraham built the altar there. Wait, he built a what? Altar. He built the altar first. Keep going. And arranged the wood. And did what? Arranged the wood. So it looks like he got some time. He's doing all of this. Keep going. And bound his son, uh -huh. Isaac, and laid him on the altar. Okay. On top of the wood. Put him on the altar, Frank. Keep going. Verse 10. Abraham stretched out his hand and took the knife to slay his son. Uh -huh. But the messenger of Yah called to him from the Shammayim and said, Abraham, Abraham, and he said, here I am. He said, do not stretch out your hand against the boy and do nothing for, to him, for now I know. Wait, for now what? For now I know. Wait, know what? That you fear the most high. So wait, so that knowing, what, wait, how do all of a sudden you start to notice? For now How a messenger all of a sudden who's representing God and can see everything before it happens in the heavens? How all of a sudden he knows this? What does that mean, family? The root word, the word for know in Hebrew is what? Yada. 
right? Yada, which means to know intimately, right? Right. So how all of a sudden he noticed from his actions? Well, wait, hold on. I thought this messenger is representative of Yah and can see all things, knows the future and everything. How all of a sudden he knows that Abraham really loves him? Let me give you an example. I gotta give him an example, friends. Let's break it down. How many of y'all go to the movies here? Raise your hand. All right. How many of y'all read books in here? Raise your hand. How many of y'all ever read a novel, right? And then saw on TV that they made a movie for it? Raise your hand. Now, after you have read the book, Frank, why you want to go see that movie? Oh, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, Frank. I gotta wake him up, Frank. After you read the book, why do you want to go see the movie? To see what? The accuracy of it. What else? Along with the book. What else? Whoa! Say it again. A visual. What else? Audio. What else? You take people with you. You want an audience. Wait, Frank. Frank. They're not getting this. Frank. Damn, thank you. Somebody got it. You trust it. Whoa! Somebody got it, Frank. So now you read the book. You know the storyline. Why, why go see the movie? Because now it's an experience, Frank. See, they they, they missed that. They missed that, Frank. Now you get to experience what you read in the book. Right, they missed it. You got the big screen, Frank, the surround sound, Frank. You get to see the accuracy of the film, Frank. You get to bring people along with you. You already read the book. They have it. So you already know what's going to happen. But now you got the company of other people to watch what you've been bragging about all this time, Frank. Frank, they missing it. But the creator created all things. Before anybody was here, Frank, he already had his vision in mind, Frank. He already had a screenplay written out, Frank. But guess what? He didn't experience it yet, Frank. Not yet. Not yet. But now he did. I think somebody ain't getting Some of y'all ain't getting it. They sleep, Frank. Let's keep them. Keep reading, Frank. Keep reading, Frank. Keep reading, Frank. Ooh, so Abraham sorry. stretched out his hand. Abraham, you right here. He said, do not shut your hand. Do nothing for you. I know you fear Elohim since you have not what? Reveal your son. Which your, one? Your only son. Wait, hold on. Wait, wait. Which one? Your only son. The, oh, is, that a, is that an error? What's going on there, Frank? I thought he had another son, Frank. He did. Okay. Keep, keep going. <laughs> From me. It must be, he must be a monohenes. Some people looked that up in Greek. Keep going, Frank. Verse 15. They get that. Here. Then the messenger of Yah called to Abraham a second time. Wait, hold on. I thought he just did it. Wait. Why he gotta call him again, Frank? Did he get the first message? Keep going, Frank. He called him, he called to Abraham a second time from the Shamayim and said, Be myself. I have sworn by myself, I have sworn. By myself, uh -huh. I have sworn, declares Yah, because you have done this thing and have not withheld your son, uh -huh. your only son. Now what's gonna happen? Indeed, I will greatly bless you or block you, and I will greatly multiply your seed as the stars of the heavens and as the sand which is on the seashore. And your seed shall possess the gate of the enemies. Wait, the seed shall possess the gate of who? Their enemies. I'm going to show you something good if you want to overcome an enemy. Keep going, Frank. In your seed, uh -huh. all the nations of the earth. And the nations is coming from, the enemies is coming from the nations. Keep going. Shall be blessed because you have obeyed my voice. Because you have obeyed my voice. Let's look at here, fans. Let's look at here. So many people want the prize, right? But they don't want to pay the price. Right. Let me say it again, Frank. Some people want the prize, but they don't want to go through the process. Frank, the process. Frank I, don't, I don't think y'all hearing me here. Some people want the prize, but they don't want to pull the punches, Frank. Nope. Hopefully somebody's hearing me here, Frank. Some people don't want to go through the trial before they get the what? The triumph, Frank. Right. Frank. Some people don't want the tribulations, but they want the triumph, Frank. On, Frank. How can somebody look at what you've accomplished, Frank, and not know the story behind it, Frank? How much can they appreciate, Frank, the times that you couldn't sleep, Frank, the times that you were crying, Frank, the times when you faced opposition, oh, Frank, the times when oh, you try to persecute you, beat you yes. up, take you down, speak bad about you, Frank. Oh, Frank, too many people just want the prize, but they don't want to work with people through the process. Hopefully somebody will get that, Frank. Hopefully somebody will get that. Hopefully. But if you want to beat that enemy, you want to beat that enemy, you got to do something before you can get that enemy to yield what it possesses and give it into your hands. Come on, bro. Come they're, on. they're missing that, Frank. Come on, brother. But they'll wake it up. What does that say, Frank? Where obedience brings about sacrifice. Obedience brings about what? Sacrifice. Obedience brings about what? Sacrifice. See, sometimes we, we read that scripture all the time that says obedience is better than what? Sacrifice. But we don't realize it's through obedience yes. why you sacrificing, Frank. They're not getting that. It's obedience why you're sacrificing. 
See, you always look at the intent when we miss the motive, right? Frank, they don't do law, Frank, so they don't know that. Go back and look at the difference between motive and intent. So many times we see the intentions, but we never check the motive. Motive. And wonder why we're getting beguiled and deceived and we're not looking at the motives, right? Exactly. Okay. And Bring them up sacrifice and then what? Reward. So, Frank, I can't get the reward first and then wait on y'all to obey and then make the sacrifice? No, sir. Wait, Frank, you're telling me I can't just obey something and then get the reward? No, And sir. I ain't got to wait for the sacrifice to lay on? No, sir. But when I obey, I do what? So, and when I make those sacrifices, Frank, then what? Then you Some people are putting the cart before the horse, Frank. But we ain't going to do that in here. Let's move on. I think they're a little sleep, Frank. I'm going to keep it moving. Let's read scripture reference. What is this at the top? That's a valley. All right, because I gave you all the pointers in the beginning, but now I took the titles off. So I need you all to look at the imagery so you know where we're walking. So first we went through a valley, right, Frank? And we learned something. That's right. Then we went up a mountain and we learned something else. But now we're going back to the valley. Okay, keep going, Frank. See, Frank, sometimes people think they're going to stay on that mountaintop now. Come on, come on. They don't realize oh. there's a cycle of things. Frank, Frank, they don't realize. Keep going, Frank. Keep going, Frank. Keep going, Frank. Joel, Joel, chapter 3, verse 13. Okay. Put in the sickle, mm -hmm. for the harvest is ripe. Okay, keep going. Come, tread, for the wine press is full. Okay, this is all symbolic, then. Keep going, Frank. The vats overflow, huh? For their wickedness is great. And keep going. Multitudes, multitudes in the valley of decision. And the what? In the valley of decision. For what? For the day of Yah is near in the valley of decision. So now we in another valley, Frank, because we, we commute and do life, Frank. Going here, here, up, down. This is how we move it, Frank. Right. Bring you up to the road coast of life, family. I'm going to say it again. I'm bringing you up to the road coast of life. Come on. Put your seatbelts on and take these nuts, family. This is going to get you through. So sometimes you may be in a valley, Frank, and because of things that we do that's displeasing to Yah, Frank, there has to be a decision, decision. or a judgment. That's right. Don't run away from judgment. Accept it. I mean, let's, let's go back to the one. Let me, let me give you an example. When David was the king, he saw Bathsheba, he took Bathsheba, right, as the right. king. That's right. And after he took Bathsheba, he tried to get her husband Uriah killed. And eventually he conspired to got him killed. So he took this man's wife, labeled her, got her pregnant, and then put that man on the front lines to die. So he committed two capital offenses. Cain Khan. Yeah. So after he did these things, Frank, Nathan came to him, gave him a little parable. Mm -hmm. He said, Well, that person in that parable took it, put them to death. Mm -hmm. And then what did Nathan say to him? You. You. So when he realized that the person is him, what did he do? So what did he do? What did David do? He repented. Now, wait, somebody jumping ahead. He repented, right? He said, man, I feel sorry for what I did. The most I gave him a judgment rendered, right? His son was born, and while his son was born, his son was sick. Was it a stillborn death? There's a reason for that. Y'all miss it. Y'all miss it. Sometimes you may get small rewards for the wicked or bad things that we do, Frank, and we think the Lord's high is blessing us. But look at this. We burnt something by doing the wrong thing, Frank. Watch this. So we want to pray over it. We want to fast for it, Frank. Frank, are you are they not listening, Frank? And we want the most out of preserve something as a result of us doing the wrong thing. Y'all missing this, man. So then afterwards, his son died. And David still, what was he doing? Fasting. But when, when they were talking amongst themselves, David perceived what was going on. Right. And then what did David do? He cleaned himself up immediately. immediately. And then did what? Kept them moving. And they were like, hold on, what's going on with what this man? Hold on, what's going on with him? I don't understand. Frank, they didn't understand, Frank. And mind you, Frank, people are watching our lives. Didn't you say that, Frank? That's right. People watching. are watching our lives. They're watching, they watching oh. Frank. And then now they ask them. They say, well, we don't understand. Why, why did you do this thing? He said, while my son was still alive, I believe that if the Most High willed, it would live. Or I would keep whatever this thing that I got from doing the wrong thing, Frank. But when I realized he took it from me, I accepted it. So hold on, Frank. Sometimes you may get a job, Frank, and we may have done a lot of manipulation and stuff to get that job, Frank. And we praise this job, and all of a sudden we lose it, and we get mad at everybody else, Frank. But we don't realize sometimes the issue is us. Somebody's gonna wake up in the morning. Preach, preach I up. can't keep preaching it. Let's move forward, Frank. What's the expositional point? Read that, Frank. There's a place of judgment and separation. A place of what? Is a place of judgment and separation. Because what happened in the beginning? Put your what? Sickle. sickle. For the harvest is right. So a sickle is used for what, Frank? 
agriculture. We're cutting down and reaping and come and tread the run press, it is full. So now it's separation in your life when you see things being separated in your life. When you're being removed from things that you think you're praying for, but the most I don't want it for you. And you see these separations happening, Frank. Then you're going to realize you're in a valley. But that's not the end of the story, Frank. That's right. That's right. That's right. <coughs> Who did that? <laughs> I'm about to, now I'm about to really start whooping and hollering up here. You better stop. All right, let's move on. Read the next one, Frank. So now where we at again? You're on the mountain. Go ahead, Frank. Shemot. Proverbs chapter. No, 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 no. Shemot is Exodus. 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 That's okay. Go ahead, Frank. Chapter 24, verse 1. Mm -hmm. Then he said to Moses, Come up to Yah, you and Aaron, Nadab and Abihu, and 70 of the elders of Israel, and you shall worship at a distance. Wait, slow down. Slow down, Frank. The most high time what? Say it again. Let me see if somebody gets that. He says, Come up to Yah. Uh -huh. You uh -huh. and your brother Aaron, uh -huh. Nadab okay. and Abihu. Okay. And 70 of the elders oh, of Israel. Why is the 70 elders important to Moses? Help us, but what else? What, what occurred? How were they chosen? Well, say it again. The Ruach was on Moshe, and the Most High pulled it off of him and delegated it to 70 other people to assist him. That's right. I, people are missing this right. Watch this, Frank. Watch. Go ahead, Frank. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to try to wake him up, Frank. Go ahead. And you shall worship at a distance. Up close, Frank. At a distance. Okay. Keep, keep it moving, Frank. Verse 2. Sometimes we want to rush into it's a process. Go ahead, Frank. Moses alone. Wait, Moses what? Alone. Keep going. Uh, however. Uh-huh. <laughs> however. However, watch this, family. Think of yourself like Moses and people around you. Keep going, Frank. Moses alone, however, shall come near uh -huh. to God. Keep going. But they shall not come near. Hold on, but I thought they had the same spirit as Moses. They shall not I come thought near. Aaron was the, one of the high priests. They shall not come near. That's interesting, Frank. Keep going. Nor shall the people come up with him. So he's making these people waste the trick. Keep going, Frank. Verse 9. And then Moses went up with Aaron. Uh, wait, then Moses did what after that? Went up with Aaron. Sound like Abraham. Keep going. Some of y'all get that from my last message. They missed it, Frank. Keep going. They missed it. <laughs> they missed it. Keep going. Go so back and watch it. <laughs> yeah. So what did Moses do? <laughs> yeah. But go ahead. What did Moses do? <laughs> Moses went up with Aaron. He went up with Aaron. Nadab. Nadab with us. And the Bible. Uh huh. And seventy of the elders of Israel. And what did they do? And they saw. The elder Hebrew of Israel uh -huh. and under his feet. Man, what else? There appeared to be a pavement of sapphire as clear as the sky itself. Now, look at this. So now they at a distance, bro. Imagine that. You get to see the presence of Yah at a distance. You can't go no further. Let's rewind back, Frank. Somebody's going to get this. Remember, you're Moses. They're missing this, right? And the people around you get to see this awesome thing that's lining up for you, Frank. Frank, they missing it, Frank. So watch this. You think you could bring these people along with you. That's what you think, Frank. Keep going, Frank. But then when, oh, look, he still brought them with him. The most high says, listen, just keep them at a distance. He's going to bring them with him. But now they saw the all, so they got held back by the all. So the most high had to reveal some awesome sight to be real with them so he can continue to call forth the chosen one. Keep going, Frank. Verse 1. What? Now y'all said to Moses. For all of them. To Moses. Moses and Aaron. To Moses. What did he say? Come up to me on the mountain uh -huh. and remain there. And remain there. Keep going. And I will give you the stone tablets uh -huh. of the law and the commandment, which I have written for their instruction. Now, what is Moses doing after that? Right, read the next verse. Right? Verse 13. So Moses arose with Joshua. Wait, hold on. Hold on. Frank, I don't understand. What's going on with Moses? You know, we got some excuse. Oh, I can't talk. I'm gonna give you Aaron. Oh, I can't do this. Put your hand in. Take your hand out. <laughs> hey, he just said so. So he's looking around and said, Wait, you didn't say Joshua. Yo, Joshua, come here. <laughs> Keep going, Frank. <laughs> so Moses arose uh -huh. with Joshua uh -huh. and his servant. Uh -huh. And Moses went up to the mountain. Slow down. Went up to the mountain of what? Of Elohim. Keep this in mind. High Elohim. Keep that 
in mind. The mountain of Ha Elohim. The mountain of Ha Elohim. They're going to get it, Frank. My counsel. Keep reading. Go to verse 16. The glory of Yah rested on Mount Sinai. Okay. And the cloud covered it for six days. Okay. And on the seventh day. Wait, on the seventh day. On the seventh day. Is that the day the Most High rests? He's still giving imagery right here then, Frank. People are missing it. They're missing it. Right? On the seventh day. Go ahead. What did he do? He called to Moses from the he first day. He had to set the scene for six days so he could rest a little bit and allow Moses to come in. Remember, why did Exodus 20 happen? The Ten Commandments is on the tablet. Because one of those commandments say, In six days you shall labor, for on the seventh day you shall what? Rest. Because for in six days the Most High did what? Did all his work. And then on the seventh day he did what? Cease from work. He's still giving this symbolism to Moshe. He missed, I think Moshe, Moses missed that. Missed that. Keep going. He called to Moses, not Joshua. He called to Moses from the midst of the cloud. On your seventh day of rest, when you are ceasing and there's no distractions, now the Most High can get your attention. And sometimes he'd be calling us all the time, and we don't know what's going on around us. There's so many things that are happening, but in that quiet time, Frank, on that seventh day, Frank, now he can call to us. Now we can hear his voice, and the other people can't keep, keep going, Frank. Verse 17. But And to the eyes of the sons of Israel, the okay. appearance of the glory of Yah was like a consuming fire mm. on the mountain top. How could Moses come into a consuming fire? That's to keep everybody else out so most I can speak to Moses. Verse 18. They're missing that, Frank. Keep going. It. Verse 18. Moses entered the midst of the cloud. Are you saying that there's a fire that's consuming everything, but yet he's not consumed? They missed that again, Frank. He entered. They don't know the story of Exodus, Frank. Keep going. He entered the midst of the cloud as he went up to the mountain. Okay. And Moses was on the mountain. 40 days and 40 nights. So you see, even though he had Joshua, the Most High didn't say nothing about Joshua. He just pulled Moses in. Okay. Sometimes, family, we have something the Most High has lined up for us because he has promised us. But sometimes we want to bring everybody along, family. Yeah. Everybody along. The Most High said, no, don't bring this person. No, don't bring that person. You're still looking for somebody to bring along. The Most High needs to come on, Frank. He needs to prune us sometimes. Frank, people don't know what that is. What is pruning, Frank? What's the pruning process, Frank? Right? On a plant, what do you what do you pruning, Frank? You have to cut off parts of the branch or the, the flower or the or the tree uh -huh. so you can save and preserve the tree. Ah, uh, say that one more time. We right? have to cut off branches from the tree or the flower uh -huh. to preserve to preserve it or the flower. So sometimes we think the company we keep is the thing that's preserving us, Frank, right? but we don't realize it's the Most High God with His Ruach in us that's preserving us. And sometimes in order for us to see that, Frank, he has to remove people out your life. Frank, they're not seeing that. A mountain top, sometimes in a mountain top, you're going to see that everybody can't make it there with you, Frank. And not because you got issues with them, but the most high see that they're not going to be applicable for your mission, Frank. Because sometimes when you got a divine assignment, he can't have everybody seeing what's going on, Frank. He got to talk to you and give it to you so they can be in awe of how he's operating in your life, Frank. Hopefully somebody gets that, Frank. Hopefully somebody get that from. Brother, he knew that he was calling Joshua in command. You see that? You, told him you see that? You still told him you can't come. Let's mm. this, this, this move forward. Hopefully somebody get this, man. I'll wake y'all up. What does that say, Frank? To receive assignments in isolation. So when you're on a mountain, what, Frank? To, receive, to, what? to receive assignments. To receive an assignment, divine assignment. In isolation. In from isolation from others. Who may enter. Fear interfere with the mission, with the mission at, hand. at hand because sometimes you may have people around you that you're so familiar with. Guess what, Frank? When the most high calling and trying to talk to you, you go into them for advice. They miss that, Frank. Yes. They miss that, Frank. Yes. If you don't trust the most high's voice, because sometimes it may not be something you want to do. Frank, people are not getting this, Frank. Frank, they'll wake it up, Frank. They'll get it. Yes. Let's, let's just move forward. I think people are sweet here tonight, Frank. Frank, let's go to uh the next scripture. What's this? What's what's this scenario? We're in a valley. So we now we're in another valley now. So I'm walking you up through. Life now. Now we're in another valley, Frank. Read it, Frank. Hear me, y'all. Jeremiah chapter 19, verse 1. Thus said, Y'all, go and buy a potter's earthenware jar mm -hmm. and take some of the elders of the people and some of the senior priests. Uh -huh. Then go out to the valley of Ben Hinnom. Now slow down. The valley of Ben Hinnom. We're going to see why that's important. Man, I hope some people study in here. 
Keep going, Frank. Then go out to the valley of Ben Hinnom, mm -hmm. which is by the entrance of the post, the Potsur Gate, uh -huh. and proclaim there the words that I tell you. What? Verse 3. And say, Hear the word of Yah, O kings of Judah, mm -hmm. and inhabitants of Jerusalem. Thus says the Yah, so, thus said Yah of hosts, what? the Elohim of Israel. Behold, I am about to bring a calamity upon this place, uh -huh. at which the ears of everyone that hears of it will tingle. Why? Verse 4, because they have forsaken me uh -huh. and have made this an alien place going. and have burned sacrifices in it to other mighty ones. Keep going. That neither they... Now, hold on, remember, before the sacrifice is what? Obedience. So now they're obeying the voice of something else. Keep going, Frank. That neither they, nor their forefathers, nor the kings of Judah had ever known. Uh -huh. And because they had filled this place. Filled this place with what? With the blood of the innocent. Because the innocent cries out against wickedness, and wicked people in power, they quiet them. Okay, keep going. Verse 5. And what did they do? And have built the high places the of high Baal. places of Baal. So sometimes when you're in that valley, we still try to put things on tall places so we can look at the wrong things and try to lead us out. We wonder why we can't get out that valley, Frank. They miss that. Keep going. Verse it could be anything. It could be out in the light, Frank. Yeah. And sometimes we put it on a high place that we're not supposed to. So we think that's going to get us out. If I just work hard enough, Frank, I'll get out of this situation. If I just do this and this hard enough, Frank, I'll get out of this situation. They're missing y'all in the process, Frank. Okay, keep going. Verse five. And, he wonders, and we wonder why things get taken from us. Wonder why things get you short around. They missing that, Frank. Keep going. Keep going. I'm thinking of somebody out there. Keep and going, they built the high places of Baal okay. to burn their sons in the fire mm -hmm. as burnt offerings mm -hmm. to Baal, a thing which I never commanded or spoke of, nor did it ever enter my mind. Verse 6. Therefore, behold, days are coming, declares Yah. When this place will no longer be called Tophet. Tophet. Keep that in mind. Go ahead. Or the valley of Ben Hinnom. But what? But rather the valley of Slaughter. Keep going. I will make void the council of Yehuda uh -huh. and Jerusalem in this place, and I will cause them to fall by the sword before their enemies. Go down. Go to verse 8. I will also make this city a desolation uh -huh. and an object of hissing. Uh -huh. Everyone who passes by will be astonished. But sometimes the Most High has to take that idol, destroy it before you, and sometimes the world got to see, Frank. See, we don't, we don't like to talk about these things, Frank. But sometimes we got to accept if we're in a valley or a mountaintop at some point in our life, Frank, he has to get rid of the idols because sometimes we don't do it ourselves, Frank. So he showed us that when things happen and we call on our idol to rescue us, it's death, it's mute. If I go on a vacation somewhere, Frank, maybe it's sleeping somewhere, Frank. You heard that somewhere in the story somewhere. But let's, let's keep going, Frank. And this because of all his disasters. Verse 9. Go ahead. I will make them eat the flesh of their sons uh -huh. and the flesh of their daughters. And, what else? and they will eat one another's flesh in the sea and, and in the distress with which their enemies and those who seek their life will distress them. So sometimes he has to do this to preserve you, Frank. See, people don't want this part of y'all, Frank. They only want the roses and the bubbles. And right. They don't want this part of Yah, Frank. Right. But how do I know you're a true child of Yah when you're able to endure this and fess up to your mistakes, confess it to Yah, a bit that you was in error, and allow him to correct you yes. if that comforts you. That's right. They don't, they don't see the rod of correction as being comfort. They don't see that, Frank. Because everybody is done. They all, they all the children of uh, Yah, the all the Yahoo, they all of them get consumed. They all of them die, Frank, or did he preserve some? Preserve some, Frank. It's a place of what? Sin, destruction, and desolation. So sometimes we may be in a valley of sin, destruction, and desolation because we failed to yield to the voice of Yah and we decided to look at our idols in our lives to save and rescue us and redeem us. And yet, when Yah corrects us, instead of us accepting our fault, sometimes we want to put the blame on somebody else. Right? Okay. We're moving forward. But look at this. I want to take a, a, a step back. I want to look at something real quick, and then I got a few more slides to go. Is that all right? Read what this says, right? 
I'm sorry, bro. Yeah, read, read what this says at the top, Frank. Investigational point. Hell, what? Investigational point, what? Hell. Okay. Let's see what hell is. Somebody set up. Wait, let's, see. let's see what hell is, Frank. I think too many people have misconceptions on what hell is, Frank. Let's go. We're going to clear that up today. We're going to make it brief. We ain't going to take them too long, Frank. As you would say, let's go. <laughs> let's go. Let's go. Y'all ready? Yes. I know some of you have been asking me this question. Yes. Let's get in. All right. Frank, there's hell right there, Frank. Mm. Can, can you read that for me, Frank? Hold on. Hold on, Frank. Frank, when I go to Israel, Frank, I'm going to go right to hell, Frank. You're going to go straight to hell. <laughs> Christian, like, oh my God, what is he talking about? Frank, I'm going to go straight to hell, Frank. Right I'm going to show you what hell looked like, Frank, today. But keep reading, Frank. What, what is that? What's that word being, Frank? Hold on. Hold on. It means lamentations. It means what? Lamentations. What? Lamentations. what? Lamentation. Keep reading. A bell. A what? A bell. A what? Bell. Keep going. Deep and narrow ravine. Uh-huh. With steep, rocky sides located southwest of Jerusalem, okay. separating Mount Zion uh -huh. to the north okay. from the hill of evil counts uh -huh. and the sloping rocky plateau of the plain of Rephaim uh -huh. to the south. Rephaim. So right there is hell, family. Now look at this. Look at this. A prophecy went out, right? And because Israel was doing what? Burning their children, making child sacrifice at the valley of what? Ben- Hinnom, then means what in Hebrew? Son of Hinnom, and that's also a person as well, right? But it's also in relation to a uh, place as well. That is also called what? Topheth. Keep that in mind. Topheth is the same as the valley of Ben Hinnom, and this is a place of what? Slaughter. Slaughter, destruction, desolation, burning, fires, consumption. Are y'all are following me? Yes. I'm trying to walk y'all through hell. All right. All right. I know some Christians are going to be mad at me after this, Frank. They're going to be really upset, Frank. But I got to break this down. I got to speak the truth, Frank. Speak the truth. Speak the truth. Why not, right? All right. Let's go. Let's, let's, let's click on this, Frank. It's only a minute and 30 seconds. I'm going to show you what hell looks like. Click on it, Frank. Click on it. Click on um. Can you click on it? Yeah, it is. Hold on. Let me see. So I gotta I gotta show them what hell is right now. I gotta show them. Oh there we go. That's where. Alright. Come on, come on, come on, come on. There we go. Alright. Uh is it plugged up to the speaker? Everyone, I will tie and we spend some time here. Okay. Right there. With beautiful grass and trees right out of the old city, which is up here. This is Mount Zion, where the tomb of King David and the room of the Last Supper are. And this beautiful valley has a pretty notorious name. It is called uh, Gay Ben Hinnom, the Valley of Hell. Why is it so? In biblical times, there used to be a pagan ceremony that would take place down here in which, in which a deity called the Molech would be worshipped. And during the ceremony that would take place, they would take yeah. a statue of that deity, That's some right metal, there. put it on a fire until it would become burning red hot, and then different offerings, offerings would be made to the statue. And the final best offering would be a baby child that would be put on the burning red hot arms until he would die from the heat. A uh, terrible ceremony, and because of that, the uh, Jewish prophets that went against it decided to go to call this valley Gay Ben Hinnom, the valley of hell, Gehenom. And from there came the word Gehenom, hell, the valley of hell. There are many stories about still ghosts that are hunting this place during the night, and some people believe that it's empty in such a beautiful day because people are still terrified from the spirits who are wandering around this area. Wow. Maybe yes, maybe not. You are welcome to come and try it for yourself. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for watching and have a beautiful day. All right, let's go. Let's go. Hold on, family.
All right. How many of y'all seen hell before? Raise your hand. <laughs> are y'all mad at me now? I'm about to move forward a little bit. Y'all, are y'all upset? Some people in here looking crazy right now. You should see their faces. Right? Like what? That hell right there. That's hell. So let's let's look in context. If you miss context all the time, Frank, you miss context a lot, Frank. That's right. Remember, I'm not talking about the lake of fire. I'm talking about hell, Frank. They miss exactly. they miss context, Frank. Oh, no. Frank, you know, let's let's go through, Frank. Let's the valley of slaughter, Frank. Desolation, That's despair, right. Right. burning fire. All right, let's move forward, Frank. So we read most of this already, so I'm not gonna read all of it. But we read what the valley of Ben Hinnom was. You know, it was took that the most high is gonna bring a calamity upon this place. Which the ears of everyone that hears will tingle, and shall be called the valley of what? Slaughter. Slaughter. And it says, I will give over their carcasses as food for the birds of the sky and the beasts of the earth. I will also make this city a desolation, an object of hissing, and it will hiss because of all of his what? Plagues. Keep this in mind. And it says, Then Jeremiah went from Torah where Yah has sent him to prophesy, and he stood in the court of Yah's house and said to all the people, Thus Yah hope the elements will behold, I am about to bring on the city and all its towns the entire calamity that I've declared against it, because they have stiffened their necks mm. so as to not heed my words. I wonder why a prophet going forward will make a reference to this type of situation. Frank, they're missing that, Frank. They, 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 Frank, they're missing that, Frank. Okay, okay. Let's, I'm walking you through, Frank. Frank, you see their faces. They look perturbed, Frank. You know, yeah. 731, they have built high places of Tophet, which is in the valley of the son of Hinnom, to what? Burn their sons and daughters in the fires, which I did not command it and did not, and it did not come to my mind. Yeshaya is what? Isaiah. Isaiah. is what? Jeremiah. It says 30 and 27, behold, the name of Yah comes from a remote place, burning in his anger and dense in the smoke. His lips are filled with indignation and his tongue is like a what? Fire. And Yah will cause his voice of authority to be heard and the descendant of his arm to be seen in fierce anger and in the flame of what? Consuming fire in cloudburst, in downpour, in hailstone. For Tophet has been long ready, Frank. Indeed, oh. he has been prepared, Frank, for the king. He has made it deep and large. Oh. He's thinking, oh, hold on. Oh. He's thinking the most high is doing this, making things deep and large. But he says, the king is also responsible. For what? Making it deep and large. Because that was not something that the Most High wanted for the children of Israel. Okay, Frank. Some people are missing that, Frank. Frank, they, Frank, Frank, they're missing that, Frank. They, they're the ones that did all that in the valley. So he's using it against them. Frank, they're not seeing this. Frank, they don't get this, Frank. We're almost there. It says, largely a pile of what? Fire with what? Plenty of wood. Plenty of wood, Frank. The breath of God, like a torrent of brimstone, sets it up. Okay. Valley of destruction, valley of consuming by fire, a valley that's a torrent of brimstone with dense smoke. The most high is causing this to happen because of the things that we do, Frank. To Israel. Yeah, to Israel. To his own people, Frank. That's right. Frank, to his own people, Frank. His own people, Frank? His own people. Okay. Now look, I'm touching on the Bri Hadashah, but the New Testament, some people are gonna get a little mad, Frank. So after I get through this, I'm going to finish the valleys and mountains and we go going home, Frank. Hey. Frank, they quiet, Frank. Look at them. They're going to cry it now. You see this, Frank? Talking about Sabu's, now they be quiet. Frank, read that, Frank. Not the Yahoo is what? Matthew. Matthew what? 527. Read that, Frank. You have heard that it was said. What? You shall not commit adultery. Go ahead. But I say to you. Which is, and this encompasses the catch-all. Mr. Carr talking about the catch all. Catch all. Okay, keep going. But I say to you what? that everyone who looks at a woman uh -huh. with lust for her has already committed adultery with her in his heart. Now look at this, Frank, verse 29. Read that. If your right eye makes you stumble, if your right eye makes you stumble, tear it out uh -huh. and throw it from you. Go ahead. For it is better for you to lose one of the parts of your body than what? Than for your whole body to be thrown into Gehenna or to hell. Oh, Frank. Oh, Frank, hopefully they're, they're putting things together. Mm. Okay, I don't know if they did, Frank. Keep going. Mm. Keep reading. Verse 30. Now, mind you, keep in mind where the writer is or the author is, the audience is at, 
So that way we understand why certain kind of illusions are being made, Frank. The people don't look at geography when they read the text. Like right? they read this like it's a novel, Frank. Right? They don't read it like real things going on in real places at real times. They don't see it like that, Frank. Right? So go back and read to see where the author or the speaker in the audience is at when this speech is being given. You see me right there. Frank, Frank, hold on, Frank. That's okay, Frank. I'm sorry. Something had to wake them up. He <laughs> going, Frank. Matthew Yahoo 10 28 says what? Matthew, uh, Matthew 10, um, yeah, um, verse 30, same thing. If your right hand calls you to stumble, cut it off, throw it away from you, for it's better to lose one part than for the whole body to be going where to have. Exactly. Read 10 and 28, Frank. Do not fear those who kill the body, uh -huh. but are unable to kill the soul. But rather, but rather fear him, him who is able to destroy both soul and body in him. Because, Frank, when we read in about Topheth or the Valley of Ben Himon, who's causing that thing to happen? The Most High. He's using a valley as a place of decision to destroy and cause destruction and desolation due to the disobedience of his people. His, his people, right? So now he's put him through a situation where he's going to be all consuming fire. And he's going to burn up everything that's in there. So the sacrifice that people are making in there, he's also going to put the people in there and they're going to be sacrificed as well, Frank. People are missing this, Frank. His people, his people Frank. This is judgment, Frank. Keep going. Matter Yahoo, chapter 23, verse 15. Uh -huh. Woe to you, scribes and Pharisees, uh -huh. hypocrites, because you travel around on sea and land to make one proselyte. What's a proselyte? A convert. Keep going. And when he becomes one, uh -huh. you make him twice as much a son of hell a son of as your hell, a son of what? Hell as what? As yourself. So that means a son of destruction, a son of perdition. A son of getting judged because you're judging other people hypocrisy, I mean, I do hypocr hypocrisy, and it will be judged unto you. Keep going. You so well, hold on. He's talking to them nice, Frank. Frank, he's talking to them nice. You so good. You so You so wonderful people. You so I love everybody. You right? so good. Yeah. You real fight. What, Frank? You real fight. Yeah. How will you escape the sentence of hell? The what? The sentence of hell. The what? The sentence. Sentence. Legal terms. What's the sentence, Frank? Judgment. Mm. And how can that go, Frank? Either you are incarcerated, or what else can happen? Oh, probation. No, no, no. Oh, what else? Oh, oh death. Yeah. Death. Yeah. There you go. Death penalty. Right. That's right. Yeah. When you die, you ain't here no more, right? Nope. Okay. So now, family, I'm gonna get through this real quick. Part of speech, Gehenna. Have you ever heard of Gehenna before? Yeah. Always look up the underlying word to see what it says. Long definition. Gehenna originally the name of a valley or cavity near Jerusalem. A place underneath the earth. Now, this is being inserted here by the biblical Christian writers. All right? Just want to, I want someone to take this into account. You see, they're looking at this as something spiritual, something. They're not looking at this as real life stuff going on, Frank. They, they, they miss the whole Old Testament, Frank. So called Old Testament. They don't read it. They don't, like that, they they don't care to read it, Frank. But, Frank, I'm going to take you on a journey, Frank. I'm going to take everybody. Let's go. A place of what? Punishment for evil, destruction, being destroyed. So now the most high goes on, he picks up in the book of Isaiah, last chapter, last verse, 66, verse 24, if I'm not mistaken, when he says that now there's going to be a worm that dieth not. Remember that? A worm that dieth not. So imagine you dying and your body never, ever being able to rot properly, but there's always worms continuously consuming you forever. What kind of imagery is that? Birds coming and picking at you. Beast ripping you, ravaging you. Yep. That's the worst way to die, Frank. That's a horrible day to get buried. You're not even buried. You're just out and open. And anything can happen to you, but the people are going to see it. Mm. The people are going to see how the Most High is whooping his own children. Frank, they missing this, Frank. His own children. Remember when we read that before about being ashamed and doing the wrong thing? Frank, the Most High is going to whip his own children. And we're going to do so through a time of destruction, despair. Because we're going to see this going to be linked up, linked up by Isaiah with Babylon. Come on, okay, Frank, Frank, come, come on now. They're missing this, Frank. When destruction comes, Frank, we want to save Babylon, Frank. You know why? Babylon gave me my paycheck, Frank. Babylon gave me my house prize. We're going to go run along with it, Frank. Okay, I think people are missing that, Frank. They're missing this, Frank. Okay, Frank, 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 Frank. hell is the place of the future punishment, but it was also a place of prior punishment. So you can look through the past and see what happened to understand what's going to happen again in the future. So now, the people don't know 
when the last day of the hour is. So he's warning them, hey, y'all are more loud right now. If y'all don't get this thing right, pluck your arm, cut your arm, pluck out your eye. He ain't talking about self mutilation. Right. It's a symbolic. Right. That means stop the things that's causing you to do the wrong thing because at some point, judgment's going to come upon this land and you're going to get caught up with it. Remember 78 deep, friend? All right, friend. They missed this, friend. They didn't understand what it was. Now, this is a spiritual thing. Like we think it today, when we don't see the destruction right in front, Frank, they're missing this, Frank. Okay, Frank, somebody will get this, Frank. I'm trying to help somebody, Frank. This was originally the Kabia Valley of Hinnom, southwest of Jerusalem, where the filth and dead animals of the city were cast out and what? A fit symbol of the wicked and the future destruction, Frank. So, Frank, he's speaking to a generation. The generation doesn't know the time of the day. The sun don't even know the time of the hour. So he's warning them, Frank, if y'all don't get it together, the structure's going to come upon this land, and you're all going to be consumed by fire. Jerusalem was burnt down, Frank. People got burned, Frank. People got killed, Frank. Family, y'all missing this? See, sometimes, Frank, we make everything so spiritual, Frank, we don't see what's going on right in front of us, Frank. See, that people try to be so deep and cause you to miss prophecy. Frank, they, they're not hearing what I'm saying, Frank. Okay, Frank. What was it? The Messiah? <laughs> he, he was. Okay. He opened the book of Isaiah and kept reading from it. Frank, they're missing it, Frank. I don't think they understand what you're saying. Frank. Even the book of Jeremiah was quoted by him. Yes, so right. I'm not going to read through it because we went through it. But the bottom line is, by Yom Shah's time, the valley of him was a full-fledged garbage dump. So mind you, he's preaching to these people. The audience is here. The speaker is here. The valley's right over there. Right over there. He pointing at it. Listen, y'all get it right. Y'all remember what happened in times past? Well, four fathers disobedient, this being disobedient, and what the most high did to them, I'm telling you again, you think there's only garbage and refuge being thrown in there, but at some point, if y'all not doing the right thing, you ain't gonna be preserving. The most high gonna judge you right in there. Frank, they ain't missing it, Frank. They thought he pointing at the sky talking about going to earth somewhere. He putting out a physical place, Frank. Physical Frank, they don't get it, Frank. I think some people's upset. They gotta go back and talk to loved ones and tell them about hell now, Frank. And they gotta go visit. When I go there, Frank, I'm gonna be like this. I'm gonna take pictures and everything, Frank. Frank, they're gonna be mad at me. <laughs> I want them to get them to understand this is a real place, right? And you can actually go there yourself and understand the history of why that place is important. They said spirits are still roaming. No, people are afraid to go in there, right? Yeah. And there's nothing burning in there. No. Nothing. Not yet. No. Not yet. Oh, what's that, right? Not yet. So you tell me it's going to be a battle of Armageddon, Frank? Yes, you mean sir. some people might be thrown in there and burnt up? Frank said, people miss a prophecy, Frank. I'm going to leave them alone, Frank. Missing. I'm going to leave them alone. They're missing it, Frank. Because of this history of infant sacrifice and out of worship, the area associated with destruction. Abominable fires, death, and waste. This is what he's talking about. You will be consumed and destroyed like these fires that's burning the refuge here if you do not get back in alignment with Torah and work on your heart. That's all he was saying to me, friend. Look at this. I have the elder in here, the elder grandma in here clapping. And she went to Christian church for years, right? She heard this and she clapped before everybody else. Come on, Frank. People are not getting it, Frank. I think they still sleep. Let's move through it, Frank. Let's move through it. Let's read this. I got maybe about four more slides, Frank. Okay. Okay. Shamot. Look at that. You see that, Frank? She got it, Frank. Come on. We all sleeping. She's been in church longer than all of us. And someone's been even born, Frank. And ain't, we ain't getting it, Frank. Come on, Frank. Illusion is real, Frank. Go ahead. Shamot, chapter 25, verse 1. Got to be on me to do this quick, Frank. Go ahead. Then Yah spoke to Moses, saying, Tell the sons of Israel to raise a contribution for me. Okay. For every man whose heart moves him, you shall raise my contribution. Well, hold on. Every man who what? Who caught what? Moves him. No, I'm going to preach you a message to give me tithes, Frank. No, no, no. Moves him. Frank, I'm going to preach you a prosperity gospel, Frank, so you can put some money in the bucket, Frank. No, whose heart moves him. So he said it's also where? And what? Exodus what? Exodus chapter 25, verse I mean, everybody's heart ain't going to move him. You know why? Mm -hmm. Because what did Yahushua Shah say when he saw the woman put it in two pence in, in the thing? She gave everything she had. She gave her heart moves her to do that, Frank. Right. So that's the one that we got to look for, Frank. The ones that's given their all, and we don't even know what's going on behind the scenes, Frank. Right? Oh, they're coming in here, and they're helping with everything, Frank. They're coming in here giving everything, Frank. And we think that, man, they must got a lot of time on their head. No, they want to be in a place where they know that they can be protected and preserved. Here's the word of God. They just want to be a part of it, Frank. Some of y'all missing it in here. That's why I said we're going to get all the y'all involved. Keep going, Frank. Verse eight. Go ahead. Let them construct the sanctuary for me. Uh, and I will dwell with them. Keep going, Frank. According to all that I am going to show you as the pattern Wait, of the tabernacle. Pattern, according to all that I'm going to what? Show you. Show you. As the pattern of the tabernacle. As a pattern. Wait, he's going to show him a pattern somewhere. The pattern of the tabernacle. He's going to show him a pattern he's somewhere. Him. He's going to show him. Mind you, he's on a mountain at this point. That's right. Okay, keep going. And the pattern of all his furniture. Okay. Just so you shall construct. Now here he's talking about the ark. 
Go to uh, verse 21 says, you should put the mercy seat on top of the ark. And 22 says what? There I will meet with you. Where? And from, and from above the mercy seat. From what? From between the two cherubim, uh -huh. which are upon the ark of the testimony. The ark of what? The testimony. I will what? I will speak to you about all that I will give you in commandment for the sons of Israel. Verse 40 says what? See that you make them after the pattern for them. Wait, wait. See that you make them these things. And it was not just as the gold lampstand, everything else. After the pattern for them, which was what? Shown to you on the mountain. So he was on the mountain. Remember I told you the mountain of Ka Elohim? The Elohim. Not just Elohim. Frank, they're missing this, Frank. Let me know all that. On the mountain of Ka Elohim. Council is there. Frank, they're missing this, Frank. When you get on that mountain, Frank, why do you have to come to the consumer fire? Because that wasn't for everybody else to see. Moses saw a pattern. He got to look directly at something, Frank. Frank, they're missing it. Other people get dreams and visions. What did he say in Numbers chapter 12 when Miriam and uh, Aaron spoke about the Ethiopian woman he had? He said, I get to your prophet's dreams and visions, but Moses, Moses. but Moses, I do what? I speak face to face. Mm. Okay, they're waking up a little bit, Frank. So what, Frank? Read the next one. Devarim is what? Deuteronomy. Go to dream two says what? He said, Y'all came from Sana and dawned on them from Seir. So Y'all came from where? Sana. So he has a place of origin. That's interesting, Frank. Keep going. Watch this, Frank. They're missing this, Frank. They're missing mm -hmm. this. He came from off the council somewhere to go speak to somebody, Frank. They're missing this, Frank. Keep going. And, and then what? And dawned on them from Seir. Okay. He shone forth from Mount Paran. Mount Paran is similar to this mountain range in Sinai, which starts in the Alps of Seir and comes all the way down to where the real. Mount Sinai is, which is in Northwest Arabia, which is what? The land of Midian. Okay, keep going, Frank. And he, and he came from the middle. Wait, 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 wait. Slow this down, Frank. And he what? came what? From where? From the midst. The middle of what? 10,000 mighty ones. So he wasn't by himself. He wasn't by himself. He came from so the We're going to see what this is going on. Real quick, Frank, we're going to take long. At his right hand, there was what? Flashing lightning for them. First, Melachim, 22, 19. Melachim means what? King. King. Micaiah said, I'll read this frame. Therefore, hear the word of Yah. I saw Yah sitting on what? This throne. Now, mind you, this is a prophet just getting a vision. But Moses was up there. Frank, they're missing that, Frank. Ooh. Frank, this is why the fire had to be here, Frank, because everybody can't come to the boat when a council meets that. Frank, they're missing this, Frank. Hopefully, it'll be just one day. Maybe when I finish up this lecture at the end of the year next year, Frank, they'll get it, Frank. Let's keep going. Keep going. I saw Yah sitting on his throne and all the what? Hosts. Of what? Hosts. Standing by him where? On his right and on his left. So you telling me there's a host that stands on his right and on his left? That's what you telling me? Yes. He came from the midst of ten thousand wells. Frank, they're missing this picture, Frank. But we painting it, Frank. Keep going. It says what? Y'all right. said what? Now look. Now mind you, he's sitting right on the throne, Frank. He got ten thousand mighty, a thousand mighty ones around, That's left right. and right, Frank. That's right. That's right. And he asked a question. That's right. Read that, Frank. Who will entice Ahab? Frank, that's a counsel, Frank. You ask some questions. Keep going, Frank. Who will entice Ahab Keep to going. go up and fall at Ramoth Gilead? And you can study the Sanhedrin if you want to get an idea of what this scenery is almost at. And you see where the, where the, uh, the Gadal Kohen, the high priest, sits at, where everybody else sits on the left and the right of him, and how they convene on council. Study the Sanhedrin family, and you'll get an idea of what's going on. Frank, they missed it again, Frank. Mm. They can't be scared of these things. They got to research, right. Frank. That's right. All right, That's keep right. going, Frank. And one said this while another said that. So, Frank, they talking there, Frank? They're caucusing. They're they talking. Frank, Frank, they having a, convene, a convention, Frank. A holy convocation. A full blown one. A fully blown one. Keep going. Verse 21. Then a spirit came forth. And a, and, and a spirit came. Now, mind you, he just put the request out there. A spirit came forth and said, What? And stood before Yah. And said, What? And said, I will entice him. Okay. And Yah said to him, How? And he said, I will go out and be a what? Deceiving spirit. So the most high allowed an entity in the midst of him to say, I'm going to go out and be a deceiving spirit. And the most high said that deceiving spirit? Yes. Remember, Ra, the calamity situation? Sometimes we think it's always the devil. Frank, they miss, Frank, they missing that, Frank. When Joel was being tested, before anybody can think it happened to him, Moses said, have you tried my servant? Man, how can I do that? You got a hedge around him. 
you have to convene in that council before anything reflects here on earth. Frank, they're yeah, missing this, Frank. They're missing this, Frank. Right? The most high is always in control, Frank. They think the devil's Frank. Remember I said they try like to reveal the evil that happens to them, but don't reveal the creator? Your back should be towards your evil and your face should be towards you Frank, they're missing this, Frank. But Frank, you'll get that one day. Let's get it. And he said, I will go out, be a deceiving spirit, and my boy prophet. Then he, y'all said, you are to entice him and also what? Prepare. Go and do so. Now, would God actually do something like this, family? Man, I'm touching on some, I'm stepping on people's toes right now. Frank, 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 they're going to stole me like this, Frank. You're going to have to hold the door and let me run out. But this match is over, Frank. I'm not talking about how. I'm talking about Frank, Frank, Frank. 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 <laughs> We're the protection program, right? Now, therefore, y'all have put a deceiving. No, the devil did it, Frank. Y'all. Your mom did it, Frank. Y'all. Your father did it, Frank. Y'all put a what? A deceiving spirit. Y'all did that? Sure did. Are y'all mad at me? I didn't like this. Look at the Frank. They're quiet, Frank. You got to see their faces. I see their faces, Frank. I'm sorry, family. It's okay, man. It's all right, man. Y'all be, y'all be fine. Read that, Frank. I, you want me to read the rest of it real quick? All right, go ahead. Put a deceiving spirit. Go ahead. Y'all has put a deceiving spirit in the mouth of all these your prophets. And y'all has proclaimed disaster again. Because you. sometimes, Frank, we have that one friend that's the voice of reason. But because they ain't popular, Frank, we listen to everybody else. See, Frank, Frank sometimes you may be that voice of reason. And you tell somebody something, and they may not be listening to you, Frank. They're going after everybody else. And when something happens, guess who they go to first, Frank? <laughs> I say, I told you so. Let me stop. Sometimes I have. Depends on the situation. Depends on what kind of mood I am, family. But let's. <laughs> somebody got it. Read that, Frank. So sometimes, Frank, you got to go to the mountain to do what, Frank? To receive divine visions. For what? And show it to others for provision. Remember, they had to build the Ark of the Covenant. Most high says, I need you to build a place for me to dwell. Right? right? So he had to take Moses, give him the divine vision, and then have to put him to the people who's going to make the provisions. Right. And you'll see also in the text, the spirit will fall upon certain artisans or certain workmen, and they will be gifted with the spirit to carry out that mission. Sometimes in our lives, in the most high, I give us a vision. Sometimes we think we do everything by ourselves. And I know sometimes I could be guilty of that. But he gives us the vision to find those with the pro vision. What does pro mean before the vision? Pro is the Greek word pro, meaning to motion forward. The people in your life, if they're not taking the vision that the Most High has given you and they're not helping you move forward, you got to keep it moving, Frank. You got to keep it moving, Frank. Because that means that the vision that he gave you, these ain't the right people to help you build it, Frank. People are missing that, Frank. They're missing yeah, they're that, so Frank. They're disobedient. And also because we just want to bring everybody with us. See, Frank? Okay, sometimes those people that you want to bring with us is just the people that you most likely going to use to manifest what he has given you in the midst of that. They're going to be helping you build your vision. Frank, they're missing this, Frank. They're going to help you build in your vision. Your vision. Your vision your that the most high has given you because it's going to bring him glory. Okay. Um, all right, let me skip that. I don't, I don't think I have a lot of time. What time is it? We got time. We got time. That's yeah. <laughs> all right, let me read, let me, let me read this. We got, we, got, we got two more verses left. Now, Frank, I'm going to let you read it. Frank is your man. Your keys are yours. Some of y'all familiar with this, but when me and Frank go back and forth on it, you're going to see it different. Let's go. Let's go, Frank. Your keys are yours. Ezekiel chapter 37, verse 1. Go okay. ahead. The hand of Yah was upon me. The hand of Yah was upon me. And he brought me out by the Spirit of Yah and set me down in the middle of the valley. Set me down in front of it. In the middle. On top of the mountain to look at it. No. In the middle of the valley. No. Woo. Well, go ahead, Frank. And it was full of bones. Go ahead. And it caused me to pass among them round about, and behold. Now slow down. Now think about it. What valley could this have been? I'm not saying. But keep going, Frank. And behold, there were very many on the surface of the valley, and lo, they they were very dry. Very dry. I mean, they've been out there for a long time, Frank. Long time. All right, go ahead. And he said to me, son of man, son of man, can these bones live? Imagine, Frank, if I took you to the cemetery and I said, can these people live, Frank? What you going to say? Man, you out your bed. You out your bleep, bleep mind, right? Keep going, Frank. And I answer all at an end, y'all. You know. You know. Because I have no clue. No. Sometimes we got to deal with what we think we know for what his understanding is. Sometimes they miss that, Frank. They miss that, Frank. Sometimes we gotta say, listen, the most high knows. Yeah. Sometimes everybody wanna be a prophet, Frank. Everybody wants to speak over your life, Frank. Right. But I said, listen, the most high knows. <laughs> I don't know. Keep going, Frank. Verse 4. Again he said to me. Wait, again he said to him, what? 
prophesy. What? Prophesy. What? Prophesy. Give a word of edification. Keep going. Over these bones and say to them. What? Oh, dry bones. Do what? Hear the word of y'all. Wait. Oh, dry bones, hear my voice. Get my advice. So he's speaking to people in our life who we see look like the walking dead. They ain't got no spirit in them, no life. But we want to keep giving them our advice. But what did the most oh. I tell you to do, Frank? Do what? Prophesy and say what to them? Oh, dry bones. Hear the word of God. Hear the word of God. So, Frank, we're not giving the word of y'all these people. We wonder why they're not being resurrected out of their dead state, Frank. Right. Frank, they're yeah. missing. Frank, Frank, they missing. Yeah. Frank, but keep going, Frank. Verse 5. Thus says the Adonai y'all to these bones. So after we do our part, come mm -hmm. on now, and we put ourselves aside, mm -hmm. but point people to that word. What, Frank? Thus says the Adonai y'all. Now you're going to get your back up. See, sometimes people want to wait to the armies in front of them to go jump in, Frank. But sometimes you got to walk and put the first step out there. First step. Sometimes you got to strike the first blow, Frank. Frank, are you, are you listening to what I'm saying, Frank? Yeah. They're, not, they're not hearing me. Yeah. They're, not, they're listening. Yeah. Sometimes you always want somebody else to find out battles, Frank. But sometimes you got to fight it ourselves. Most I did not give us a rule out of fear. Yeah. Okay, keep going, Frank. Behold, I will cause breath to enter you that you may come to life. Man, keep going. I will put sinews on you. Go on, Frank. Make flesh grow back. Mm -hmm. Keep going, Frank. Cover you with skin and put breath in you that you may come alive and you will know that Wait, I am God. Why? why is he doing this? And you will know. So they will get die. That what? So you will know that I am Yah. He is Yah. Our awakening process was a result of the Most High's hand on our lives, family. Nothing that you did, family. Nothing that anybody else did for you. They may have been a festival, but the thing is, the Most High chose yes. you. Yes. Hopefully, somebody so special in here. Keep going, Frank. Verse 7. Uh -huh. So I prophesied as I was commanded. Woo! Go ahead, Frank. And as I prophesied, wow. as I prophesied, what? He didn't finish yet. Go ahead. There was a noise. Uh oh, what? 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 And behold, a rattling. Oh, okay. All right. And the bones came together. The bones were his bones. And what else? And, uh, what? and behold, sinews were on So you think the most high world was coming to pass, Frank? Yeah. Keep going. And I oh. screwed. Keep going. And skin covered them. Go ahead. But there was no problem. Woo! Frank. Frank, 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 Frank. Frank. Let's slow down for a second. Hopefully somebody got that right. So he started to hear noise and around. No, he didn't come together. Yes. But what's right? No breath in there. No life. So sometimes you may see something you tell somebody, somebody, they start doing it and everything's good, but there's no energy behind it. There's no willpower behind it. They're doing it because you say so, Frank. Right. Okay, let me move on. Let me move on back, Frank. Sometimes you speak life in the people, Frank, yes. and they only doing it not because of what you're saying to them, Frank, but because they respect you. Right. And what the problem is, you're telling them or giving them something, Frank, to help better their lives. But because they are only concerned with seeing who you are and only knowing you, they don't know the reason why they're doing this because of Yah, Frank. But once they get to know Yah, let's keep reading, Frank. Verse 9. Then he said to me. Wait, wait. Then he said, go ahead, because sometimes it takes more than one word, Frank. Keep going, Frank. Prophesy to the breath. Whoa. Oh, oh. Go on. So sometimes... We speak to things that we see, but now he's saying speak to the unseen, right? Unseen. Frank, keep going, Frank. Prophesy. Can go, but you can't see it, Frank. Yeah, Prophesy Frank. to the breath. The breath. Frank, and what? Prophesy, son of man. Say what? And say to the breath. Okay. Thus said the Adam and y'all, come from the four winds, O breath, and breathe on these slain that they come to life. How many of us is praying for the breath or the Ruach family? Yeah. <laughs> Sometimes we got to command the Ruach to, to obey the word of God that we speak over people, Frank. We speak over situations, Frank. We speak over problems and issues while we where? In the, in the valley. valley. Frank, Frank. He's where? In the valley. In the valley. In the valley. The death and despair and destruction is all around him. Sometimes a lot of us is that diamond in the rough. Frank. Come on, Frank. Come on. You see, oh, you know how much sifting through? You got to go through the cold in order to get that diamond, Frank. The condition got to be right, Frank. And we are stuck in the middle of that, Frank. And sometimes we only pray over things that we see, but we're not commanding the Ruach to come and finish the work, Frank. Right? Keep going, because that goes to show we are limited in power, Frank. Come on. Frank, keep going, Frank. Come on, come on. We can't Let's take no credit for this. Keep going. Sin. So I prophesied as he commanded. Okay, me. what happened? And the breath came into them, uh -huh. and they came to life and stood on their feet an exceedingly great army. Then he said to me, Son of man, these bones are what? The whole house of Israel. The what? 
the whole house of Israel, the nations of the earth, the whole house of Israel, wants to be an army, Frank, and we're not speaking to our own people to wake them up, Frank. We want to save everybody else by our own community, Frank. We want to let everybody else sin except our own community, Frank. Frank, we see in our community drugs, destruction, cursing, bad music, prostitution. Frank, we always want to leave out the community, Frank. Yeah, we want to speak the word in the community, Frank, to wake them up so that way when we in a situation, we can get their support, Frank. They listen, yeah, they listen, they listen, it, Frank. They go over their head, Frank. Go ahead, keep going, Frank. Behold, they say our bones are dried up and our hope has perished. Ooh, Frank, we are complete. Wait, 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 Frank. Some people here is living in the projects, Frank. Some people here is living in a community that's torn up, that's broken and destroyed, Frank. Frank, some people gonna feel this, Frank. Keep going. And the people in that community say, "Well, why I gotta do so and so? You don't see how I live." Keep going, Frank. We are completely cut off. Go ahead. The world don't care about us. Already. There you go. Go ahead, Frank. Black men on the lens of 15. Frank, come on, Frank. You push it. Go ahead. Verse 12. Therefore prophesy and say to them. What? Thus said the Adam and Yah. Wait. Say to them the president said. Thus said the Adam and Yah. Yo, actor or actress and musician that you listen to say. Thus said the Adam and Yah. What? Behold, I will open your grave. Oh, he was going to do what first? I will open your grave. Open. That means he's going to create an opportunity where nobody else can see an opportunity. Keep going, Frank. And cause you, and cause you to come up out of your grave. Woo! My people. Some people. My people. My people. My people. My people. My people. So when we look at our community, that's y'all's people, Frank. Do we see them like that, Whoa. Frank? I'm always looking at the dead situation, Frank. And most times, do you think the black community can live? And I will bring you into the land of Israel. Ooh, keep going. Wait. So before we get in the land, we gotta wake people up, Frank. Oh, we try to run away from that mission, Frank. Uh -oh. Keep going, keep going. Verse 13. What? Then you will know that I am young uh -huh. when I have opened your grave uh -huh. and cause you to come up uh -huh. out of your graves. My people and what? My people. I will put my spirit within you. I'm gonna put my spirit in you, and you will come to life. And you will come to life, and I will place you. Yeah, hey, wait, wait, hold on. Look at the process, Frank. Read that again. It says I will put my I will put my spirit within. I'll you. put my spirit in you, and you will come to life. And you will come to life, and, and I will, and, and and then what? And I will place you. No, you gonna place yourself, right? And I will hey, place you. I will place you where? On your own land. But first, you gotta have the what? The Lord. And you got to do what? Come to life. You got to see it working in your life, Frank. And then he's going to do what? Place you on your own land. Then you will what? Then you will know that I, y'all, have spoken and done it. It's all right. So we got to get that spirit first. Now we got to come to life before we can make it into the promised land. Yes, sir. And they was wondering why only a generation made it in but the previous generation did right not. you know why because they didn't listen to that minority report right let's keep it more <laughs> they didn't listen to the minority report so the valley is a what a place of what death and, and resurrection death and what resurrection. death and what resurrection death and resurrection so sometimes the value of our lives we may see dead things all around us but when we work in alignment with the will of yah and we see his purpose and his plan for his people his people his people then we know that what can happen you ain't gotta wait to die to be resurrected, Frank. You can wake people up now today. I know a lot of zombies as we speak, Frank. Don't that's mean right. That's right. But sometimes we're only speaking and prophesying to them. We're not calling on that wind or that robot to come and inhabit them, Frank. That's right. We're missing that, Frank. The power is not there, Frank. You wonder why people ain't waking up. We gotta, we gotta, we gotta put ourselves in. I think this is the last one. All right. So, scripture reference mountain. I read it. It came. It came about when Moses was coming down from my sound now with the two tablets. Of testimony was coming down from the mountain that Moses did not know that the skin of what his face shone because of his speaking with him, right? So he was in the presence of Yah right. coming down the mountain. When Moses had finished speaking with them, he put a what? There. there on his face. But whenever Moses went in before Yah to speak with him, he would what? Take off the veil until he came out. And whenever he came out and spoke to who? The sons of Israel. That he had been commanded, the sons of Israel will see that what? The face of Moses. That the skin of what? Moses' face. So Moses would replace the veil of his face until he went in to speak with him. I wonder how this relates to us today. Let's go to Matthew, Matthew 17 and 1. Six days later, what? Read it, Frank. 
Y'all, six days later, Yahweh Shah took with him Peter and James oh, and John and Yahweh and Yahweh Yah and Yah and and led them up on a high mountain. On where? On a high mountain. Ooh, okay. By themselves. Oh, okay. So you didn't take everybody else with them? Just so them. So sometimes only select people got to be in your company to see what you're doing, Frank. You can't reveal your plans to everybody, Frank. Okay, Frank. They missed that, Frank. Mm -hmm. But they wonder why things ain't happening. The people sabotage you. You didn't bring the right people to hear your plan and your vision. You try to tell everybody before you even get off the ground, Frank. Frank, you're not listening. You're not listening. And not listening. You don't. Verse two. And what? And he was transfigured before them. Uh -huh. And his face shone like the sun. Uh -huh. And his garments became as white as white. All right. So the expositional point is what, Frank? Oh. Well, here's here's a little imagery here. The real Mount Sinai today, hollow ground. Mount Sinai was completely in smoke because Yah descended upon it in fire. Above the scorched peak at Jabal Al Laws is visible from here. And if you go back and read uh watch the minority report, you see when I talk about the there's one blackened mountain peak in that area that stands out that has some kind of soot on it that nobody else can see on any other mountain but that one. Okay, Frank, they're missing that, Frank. They're sleeping, Frank. They don't believe in the supernatural. Thing. But it's okay, Frank. Go back and watch the minority report. I go a little bit more in depth about that. This is a little imagery for y'all so you can see what's going on. But read the expositional point, Frank. To experience a transformation. Why do we go to the mountain sometimes, Frank? To experience a transformation of what? Spirit and character. Spirit and what? Character. Spirit and what? Character. Frank, the only time that people can know that Yah is with you is when they see a transformation in spirit and in character. Come on now. Come on, Frank. Sometimes we want to point people to our works. Come on. Sometimes we want to point people to other things, Frank. Come on. But we never want to point and say, look at my spirit and my character. It's not because I did anything right or I and anybody, because I'm in the line with the will of the most high. I've given this word and waking up the dry bones. I'm doing everything that he has asked me to do. I wholly obey him. Remember the money point Frank went back? It says that he wholly obeyed, Frank. He wholly obeyed. Not sometimes, not on the weekends. You want to go proud and do all types of the doctor's things. And people say, wait a second, I thought the most high was with you. I thought you had a chance. They don't see no change, Frank. I don't mean you can't enjoy things in the world, Frank, but be mindful, Frank. Oh, I'm watching your conduct, your voice, your character, Frank, how you respond to your ability. Frank, they missed that. They missed that, Frank. But when Moses went up and he came back, something was different. They knew he was in the presence of Yah. When Yahusha went to the mountain, they knew something was different because he was in the presence of who? Remember what we said about the mountain? The council of high Elohim resides there. That's right. Okay, people are missing that. That's called mountaintop theology. They'll get that one day, right? I don't have time to get into it, but you'll go back and research that. Uh, first Kings, this has to do with, uh, oh, this should be the last one. Melakim 11.4, for when Solomon was old, his wife turned his heart away from uh, after other gods, and his heart was not wholly devoted, wholly, wholly devoted to Yah, his Elohim. So maybe he did some things, but his heart wasn't wholly devoted. The king is a prime example that everything else should work. Just like even in ancient Egypt, in the soot, his life is an exemplification of the good that the Elohim or the powers to be or the natural rule want to do on the earth. And if he's doing the right thing, the now will in you, they don't flood. But if it didn't, he's doing something wrong. So that means it starts with the king. The king is wicked, then the priests become wicked, and then the people become wicked, Frank. Watch who's over you. Watch who's covering you. And they're missing that, Frank. Watch who's over you. Watch who's covering you. Because if things happen to you, and that's going to be your protection. Come on. There's a breakdown in the protocol. There's a breakdown in the higher. Something's happening, Frank. That's why you don't want to be the king. They asked for it, Frank. And he gave them what they wanted. Sometimes you be asking for stuff. Also, I give it to you, and ain't what you want. You're thinking the grass is green on the other side until you get over there and you realize, hold on, what? What's this? Wait, I just saw some things, so sometimes I've noticed this, right? <laughs> some people will have high fences, right. and what they would do is they, would, they, they have bad um, front yard, back yards, but they'll cultivate the sides. Right. So the grass can come up by the fence. Right. People come by and say, man, that person got a nice house. But you walk in there and say, oh, hold on, there's weeds all up in here. What's going on? That's right. Say people try to play the part, Frank, but they ain't about that life. All right, come on. All right, uh, Frank, they missed that, Frank. They try to play that part, but they ain't about that. They ain't about that life. Frank, I keep it a buck sometimes with these people, Frank. Maybe not a reach there. For Solomon went after who? Asherah, the goddess, and the Sidonians. And after who? Milcom, or another word for Molech, the detestable idol of who? Like, what did we learn about this entity right here? What was going on with that entity? Okay. 
Keep going. And look, not just him. Solomon did what was evil in the sight of Yah and did not follow Yah fully, fully, as Dawid, his father, had done. Then Solomon built what? A for who? The most. The detestable out of who? On where? Which is east of Jerusalem. And for Molech, the who? Keep going. Then read it. Thus also he did it for all his foreign wives. Whoa, wait, wait. Then he also did it for his foreign wives. Wait, friend. They missed that friend. Hold on, friend. Let's read that again. Everybody thinks it's just his wives that turned them away. Frank, they missed this, friend. Then read that again, verse 8. What does it say? Thus also he did. Also he did what? For all uh -huh. his foreign uh -huh. wives. So his heart was turned. And when his heart was turned, he did the wrong thing. But when he built these things for himself first. Himself. Then he started building for other people. Right. See, everybody want to build their own kingdom down here, but they don't want to wait for what the Most High has for them. Right? And they wonder why when they build up the kingdom of Babylon and get destroyed, who's going to get mad at, right? Oh, they listen. They listen. Yeah. And listen, right? If you want to build things for other people that have no legacy attached to it, right? Oh. That has no inheritance attached to it, oh. right? And we wonder why when it gets destroyed, why there's nothing else? Because our mission, our motive was not checked, right? Not checked. right. It wasn't checked, right? And we turned away from Yah. See, when you don't do things for the glorification of the Most High Yah, don't expect what you build in the last long, friend. All right, all right. See, people, they're not listening to that, friend. Everybody want to build their kingdoms down here, friend. And we're not saying it's not to enjoy a quality of life, but understand that the Most High gives you something and so that you can help somebody up. Friend, they're not hearing me, friend. They want to keep it for themselves, friend. Okay, friend. They're missing this, friend. They're missing this. Thus, he also did for his foreign lives who burn incense and sacrifice to their God. So now he enabled other people. Sometimes when we do the wrong thing, and we know we're doing the wrong thing, we don't say nothing. <laughs> we let other people do the wrong thing because we know we're doing the wrong thing. Mm -hmm. But when you check yourself, friend, check yourself, and then you could go check somebody else. That's right. Like get that what out your eye, friend? That print before you talk about that spec. That's right. Check yourself, Frank, and then you can check somebody else. Exactly. In love, Frank. Be firm, but do it in love, Frank. It says open rebuke is better than what? Secret love. Secret love. Come on. Now, Yah was angry with Solomon because his heart had turned away from Yah, the Elohim of Israel. Expositional point. Sometimes when we have a mountain, most of might build a mountain for us. Solomon had a great kingdom. Solomon had access to whatever he wanted to do. So sometimes when we get that mountain, we got to be careful because it could be a place of what? Ego. Ego. Pleasure. Pleasure. And we, because we have all these things, Yah is really blessing us, but he's really testing. <laughs> we think the blessings is a reward for something we did, but we don't realize that the reward is another test. Another Frank, test. they missed that. Frank, hold on. Frank, let's rewind Come back. On. Rewind. 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 They think that the prize is the end of the line, Frank. But you're still on this earth, Frank. Prize ain't the end of the ride. Prize is the test. When he said that when the children of Israel was wandering in the wilderness all this time, he said the reason why I did this is to test your heart. Because I gave you a promise. Let me see who's going to endure. They missed that, Frank. Before I give them a warning, when they got the land, they still had things to do. <laughs> Frank, you missed that, Frank. They thought that was the end of the road, Frank. Go ahead, Frank. Yeah, finish it up, Frank. We, we have to end, Frank. Finish it up, Frank. We have to end. <laughs> Being the king, brother, he was supposed to keep a copy of Torah on him, right? All the time. And he was supposed to read it day and night. Meditate on it, Frank. So, hey, he had, had Brother Slomo been reading. Mm -mm. When he was given the kingdom, uh -uh. he should have given it back. I'm done, Frank. Frank, you're taking my message, Frank. You're taking my message, Frank. <laughs> so we have to end family. Valleys and mountains, family. We have to take into account, family, that every day of your life, every week, every season, every year, every couple of years, family, there's going to be a valley situation and there's going to be a mountain situation. You have to have wisdom to understand what's going on. Sometimes you're going to have highs, sometimes you're going to have lows. But whether you have highs or lows, you're giving instructions on what to do from Yah so you can get the most out of these situations. All your low points don't have to stay that way. All your high points are not going to stay that way. Life is an enduring cycle. He says those who persevere to the end, they're going to be redeemed. So I'm going to leave you over one last scripture so that we understand what's going on, Frank. Ecclesiastes chapter 3, how many are familiar with this? Yeah, right. Ecclesiastes chapter 3, verse 1. There is an appointed time for everything, and there is a time for every event under heaven. Verse 2. 
a time to give birth uh -huh. and a time to die. Uh -oh. A Keep time going. to plant and uh -huh. a time to uproot what is planted. Keep going. A time to kill uh -huh. and a time to heal. Ooh. A uh -huh. time to tear down uh -huh. and a time to build up. Keep going. A time to weep and a time to laugh. Uh -huh. A time to mourn and a time to dance. Keep going. A time to throw stones and a time to gather stones. Keep going. A time to embrace and a time to shun embrace. Keep going. A time to search and a time to give up as lost. Ooh, a time to search and a time to do what? Give up as lost. And we read about Jeremiah kept praying for people. Most of us said, don't pray don't for those pray people. For them. Don't pray don't for them. Pray for okay, but, but people don't see that as being the seasons, things that are happening, appointed times, Frank. Okay, Frank, keep going. A time to keep and a time to throw away. Okay. A time, Ooh, a time to keep and to a time keep. what? And a time to throw away. Sometimes we ain't throwing nothing away, Frank. Sometimes we're trying to keep everything. And we wonder why we can't get to the next season, Frank. Frank, they missing this, Frank. We almost done. A time to tear apart. Uh -huh. And a time to sew together. Uh -huh. A time to be silent. And a time to speak. Go ahead. A time to love uh -huh. and a time to hate. Oh, a time to what? Hey. I, th I think we gotta love all people, Frank. Hey, you gotta love everything, Frank. Time to hate. Okay, Frank. A time for war uh -huh. and a time for peace. You don't know love unless there's hate. You don't know hate unless there's love. Sometimes you gotta hate to love. Okay. Frank, they're missing that, Frank. At the most high is telling you to do something, and we refuse to do it, there's gonna be a disparity between love and hate. Because if he tells you, don't do this thing. Uh oh, watch this, Frank. Now, we don't hate the thing that he tells us not to do, Frank. So we don't wind up loving that wrong thing that we're supposed to be hating, Frank. Because sometimes you got to hate righteously. There's righteous indignation, Frank. There's times when you got to hate how the system is treating you, Frank. You got to hate why the job is not treating you right, Frank. You got to hate these things. You know why? You don't hate the person. You hate the situation. Because now it's reminding you that you're not there by your own power. You there because you're on an assignment. And if you don't carry that assignment out and learn that lesson, then you're wondering why you keep going through a cycle, Frank. Right. You don't know when the time to let go, time to keep, Frank. Time to kill, time to heal. We don't understand these things, Frank. We see people dying, Frank, and we get mad. Why someone's about to die? It's an appointed time for all these things to happen. Babies got to be born so that breath of life could recycle, then life can come back into this world. People admit they don't look at these things, right? These things have to happen, family. They have to happen, family. So with that, I'm going to say, assess your lives. See if you're in a valley or a mountain. And no matter what you're in, the Most High has given you instructions on what to look out for. So you got to identify where you're at and what to do while you're in the midst of it. But with all else fails, Frank, you have the Most High's perseverance, his protection, his presence, and his provisions. We say the P's again. You have his perseverance because he loves you. You have his presence because he wants to be with you. You have his protection because he wants to keep you. And you have his what? Provisions, provisions because he has to provide for you so people can see where your help is coming from, Frank. Right. Remember these three P's. Oh, yeah. Ponder on it. Muse and murmur. Murmuring and musing is meditation. Somebody missed that. They'll get it. Murmuring and musing is what meditation is. And when you understand what that is, you'll go back and read Talim and see what the psalmist was doing. The psalmist was loving and hating. The psalmist was killing and healing. The psalmist was doing all types of things going on when you read the book of Psalms because they understood their purpose. They understood the most high purpose and they understood that life is a cycle, Frank. And it's okay to get mad sometimes, Frank, but don't let it get you out of character. If you're going to be angry, keep it behind closed doors, Frank. Because when you suit up and boot up and leave that house, you're representing Yah, oh, not yourself. Oh. With that, I love you, family. Thank you for listening. And I give it over to uh, Minister Tom. Hallelujah. Man, compared to my 30 or 45 minutes, I feel bad. <laughs> but you know that there's a time, like you said, there's a time for everything. Right now is the time to eat. <laughs> Real talk. So uh like thank thank Brother Ron, especially the uh, uh the, the uh, music ministry. Great job they did today. I want everybody to give them a round of applause. Great job they did today. Thank you guys for, for being here. Thank Ron and, and Brother Uriato for um, bringing forth the message. Get everybody to stand. Click to the last.